welcome. Never fear, good citizens of Bikini Bottom. The manager is here. Yep, excitement, adventure. Just another day in the life of a manager. It's a short slide from manager to, well, not manager. Manager coming through. To see what... Boing! is always prepared. This is a job for a manager. Hey. When am I going to review the Chandler? Are you okay, Sky? Anyway, hello, Sky. How you doing today? That is <clears throat> mighty unfortunate. Anyway, no, I'm not having the Chandler Burger. Chandler Burger really fell off. I need the Welsh Burger now. I'm like part of the Mr. Beast crew. They're giving me Wel uh, Welsh Burger. Welcome. Fear, good citizens of Bikini Bottom. The manager is here. Well, nah, Welsh flavor would probably be pretty good. I know the Wales is capable of making some good stuff. In it, bruv. Hello, clicks. Thank you for the good luck on the boobs. I like boobs. Boobs? Not for me. <laughs> anyway. Yes, hope everyone's having a fantastic day. Just another day in the life of a manager. It's a short slide from manager to... Job for Ouchies. To see what I slept like I slept like six, I think. And yesterday I had six and a half. I don't know what's going on. But I've been going to bed a little earlier recently and waking up earlier. This is a job for Salty milk. What? Hey. Salty milk. Uh, I'd like to wake up now. I mean, noodles go down the hatch easily, so I mean, I guess so.
Hello, Box and Shadow. I hope you are both having a good day today. Also, that's cool. Which Pokemon are you playing? I'm playing Pokemon Ruby, because I'm setting up a shiny save file. I need to get to Groudon so I can soft reset for it. I have three of the copies of it at the Legendary, but... Yeah. The manliness has landed. Oh, cool. I, th I think I remember you telling me, actually, that you were, like, a while ago that you were gonna play that. Mm, yeah. Nugget Bridge is base as fuck. The XP. I don't think- I don't think the pleading phase was really necessary. Anyway, I'm doing alright, thank you. Also, thank you for the good luck. I hope your day is going good. I'm finally up to the point with South Park where I can actually play Stick of Truth. But I'm currently setting up a, sh a shiny file, Ruby, so... After that, I might play Stick of Truth, because I do own the game on 360. And because of how simple of a game it is, it'll probably play just as good on 360 as it would on PC. I would imagine. Oh, nice. Yeah, Abra- Abra's pretty nice to get. In those games. Like, be because of- because of the special stat being special attack and special defense, Kadabra has, like, really high special, which means that it's- it's as good special bulk, even though it's not a fully evolved Pokémon. So it's, like, still quite good in that generation, you don't even need Alakazam. Yes, Carbon Pal 360. But it'd be 50 FPS South Park, does that really matter? Look, man, I just don't want to buy the game again. Unless we can find a good pirate of it on, uh, on PC, maybe, but. Bruh. Oh yeah, after yesterday's stream, I downloaded more hacks, by the way. I downloaded more hacks. I'm trying to remember what hacks they were. Chaos Crater? Conveyor Mayhem and Patrick's Nightmare. Oh, and the alien... The alien disco. Now I got my shit to play. I played a couple hacks uh, at the end of yesterday's stream. I don't know, there's just so many of them. There was even... There was one that I didn't download because... They aren't levels in the menu, and to play all of them you have to edit the I and I, and I don't want to do that, so... Yeah, but... Yeah, it, like, and also another thing I've done... 
Um, I made an unlisted playlist on YouTube so that you can see all the hacks I play. Obviously, you can't see all the ones I didn't highlight, but all the ones from now on. Plus, a f plus like, four more or whatever that I've already played. That I did highlight. Those, uh... Going in the playlist, and sub-goals are also going in the playlist. Uh, in a different playlist. It'll also be unlisted, but you can, again, like, you can just click on playlist and then click on that. And I'm also in the- even though that these weren't sub-goals, I'm thinking of putting highlighted reactions, which is only, like, two or three of them. Highlighted reactions in there, too, just because, you know... They're not sub goals, but they're kind of they're similar in the way in the sense that like it's not me playing movie. Someone's already uploaded my fucking vods to YouTube. I don't even need that. Still do not know who that person is. It, 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 it was just strange because like I, I I didn't I didn't even know who they are. There was no like hey Pippa Foundation Briv, do you want me to like upload your vodge to YouTube Briv? I probably would have said yes anyway, but like yeah, there was no communication, it just happened. I didn't know it happened until Sky posted about it. That was really close. I would definitely call this some kind of energy. So I guess if I really wanted to, I could put, like, a playlist of my VODs. Because I can make playlists of other people's content, I think. For people to view. More like DN. E well done. I found one. Okay. Did Mindy bother to tell us if the train was still running around here? Yeah, <sighs> well, that sucks. I can't. I I don't remember. The, I can't remember the last time I missed like the very first rubber dub skip of the stream. You know, rubber dub skip is one of those tricks. That I, when I start missing it, I miss it relatively late into the stream, after already getting it so many times. This is a rare occurrence. Let me try and sort this out real quick. What do you mean, Shadow?
I guess probably good enough. I have a poll thing for the next sub goal. So if you want to look uh, at that, then you can vote on it. And, um, I'll have a look at it at the end of the stream or the end of the day or whatever. I don't know if it's for this Saturday or next Saturday. It might be too soon. But the, but the thing is, like... I want to get, you know... I, I didn't have time to make it... Yes, I was I had to do a lot yesterday. It's because I jumped too late. Like, I landed on the ground, uh, back on to- I landed on the bridge before I could do my second jump. I try to purposely do my jump as late as I can to get the one frame, because then I maintain speed and save like half a second. But it can be punishing sometimes. Like, like then. Like, I did it too late. If they're short, Carden, yeah, if they're short. I didn't know Robotic Revenge 100% was fucking... 7 to 8 hours long. Right? I thought it was like, 4 hours long. I thought all I'd have to do was beat the game with a character. Right? Just, just beat the game with just some fucking random character. And then get all the unlocks. No, that's not what you do. You have to actually... Here's what they class as 100%, right? I looked at the only run on the boards, so I know what they class as 100%, right? When you get to the final level that isn't the final boss, then, you know, you can you can quit playing as that character. Then you play, so let's say you're playing a Spongebob. When you get to this, basically, when you finish, like, the second to last level... You, uh, can play as the next character, play all the levels except for the final boss. Go to the next character, play all the levels except for the final boss. Then when you play as the final character, you do the whole thing, including the final boss, and you have to have all the upgrades, but by then you definitely would. Yeah. Be, be it with every character except for the So, I'd be doing- I've done Robotic Revenge before, I need to do it four times, like, back to back, essentially. However, the world record run is unoptimal, so I can save, like, some time. I might be able to beat it. Basically, they started- they did SpongeBob, Patrick, Squidward, Mr. Krabs. However, Mr. Krabs would definitely be fastest to do first, because his special ability, uh, spawns more of those sp uh, fucking- the currency when it's active, so you can upgrade all the shit quicker. So it would definitely be faster to do Mr. Krabs first. And then it doesn't matter after that, I don't think. Because by the end of the game, I should hopefully have enough to upgrade everything with Mr. Krabs. But if not, then I'll just do, like, Patrick or whatever. I don't know what Patrick's ability is, but I don't think it's anything notable. Uh, Squidward is the one I should be doing last when I have everything, because his damage matters more. Or would it be faster to do Squidward first because he can uh, do more damage with weak guns? But do I take advantage of Mr. Krabs' currency generation or do I use Squidward's ability to offset low damage? This is a tough one. Yeah, I thought so too, Cotton, but apparently not. Also, hello, Lucy. Um... I hope you are doing good today, and also thank for the good luck. I appreciate it. Um, yeah, I used to run Robotic Revenge back in 2015, and it fucking sucked. You know what I hate about that game? Right? There's nothing horrible about it, but there's nothing good about it whatsoever. There's absolutely nothing good about it. The, the biggest compliment that I can give it, right... The, the, and th this is the biggest compliment I can give it, is that the file size is small, which means it'll be easy to burn to my 360's hard drive. 
And it's only small because the game is not big at all. So if anything, it's not really even a positive. But it's just the fact that if the game's going to be small, then at least it seems pretty optimized in file size. It's only like 4 gigs or something. It's really small. It can fit on... I think it can fit on like those retail arcade Xboxes. You know, the ones that have like 4 gigabytes internal storage or whatever. Oh no, Khan, you, you're signing up to do Hundra, uh, Hundo, on accident. Best be looking forward to it when it gets met. Oh, absolutely, Lucy. Khan, you might want to remove the channel reward before it's too late. Before anyone notices. Also, yeah, um... Because, yeah, there was a uh, Robotic Revenge and Hero Pants, and, like, there were no good SpongeBob- There were no SpongeBob games for a while, but there were no good SpongeBob games for a while, either. And then Rehydrate came out, and that's not a good game, but, like, it's foundation that it's on- Like, it, Battle is good, so Rehydrate can only be so bad, because it's just Battle, but, like, worse. But, like, the level layout is there, the voice acting's still there, you know, and so on. Um... But, yeah. I- I thought the Hero Pants thing would never- I- I thought Shirt Off would never get met. Oh yeah, I forgot to finish up what I was saying. So, I feel like Cosmic Shake, like, even though Rehydrate, it might seem, you know, because it was, like, the first Spongebob game in ages, I feel like Cosmic Shake is the first good Spongebob game in a really, really long time. Man, I haven't seen any gameplay of Squiggle Pants. When I'm talking about, like, good Spongebob games, I'm talking about, like, the ones that are notable, you know? Even the ones that are bad, notably bad, like Revenge of the Flying Dutchman, but, the, you know, there's also good and mediocre ones that are also notable, you know, Battle Movie, Toss, Atlantis, Creature. Has anyone ever thought of Squiggle Pants? Because I haven't. That's probably the first time I've thought of Squiggle Pants in this year. Jam sent me a TikTok. Like a mouse. I'm not watching it until after stream. Like a mouse. Exactly, Lucy, and, and it's very easy to just emulate. It doesn't even have, like, Battle and Movie Dolphin used to have this problem on default settings where, like, textures would be fucked or whatever. Like, shadow textures, I think, would be fucked. But even that was fixed, like, a while ago. And, he, and you could just switch the settings in Dolphin anyway, but, but now you don't even need to do that. So... Bro, okay, that's... Fog has actually said, excuse me. Anyway, point being, yeah, battle's very easy to just pirate. I miss the old purple. I'm doing fucking sub goals, if that's what you mean by old. Go and vote on my thingy. Alright. Go vote on my thingy. I'm even beginning to double down. Old Purple Foundation never doubled down on sub goals. Except for when he was going to double down on, um... Damageless and, like, something else on the same stream, and that didn't happen because Damageless turned out to be terrible. I was forced to buy a usual tablet just for squiggle pants and nothing else. That's, like, why I bought, uh, that fucking Spongebob plug-and-play that's Cash Dash on. I don't give a fuck about the rest of the games on there. I just want Cash Dash. That's not even true. I owed, like, six or seven su I've been owing sub-goals since, like, the early 2021. Right? So, unless we're going to 2020... Which I like to dub the Cringe Foundation Era. What was cringe about me? Um, I don't know. But I'm a lot cooler now. Rest assured. Breast assured. Up 
Anyway. Yeah, it's gone to the point where I'm gonna have to do multiple sub goals. Hello, Tar. How are you doing today? Also, no worries. See, I was thinking of streaming. I, I remember talking about it on stream before. I was thinking of streaming later, like at like five instead of four. But then, I, but then, I realized like there are a lot of people who are only able to watch early before they go to school or work or whatever. Like that actually happens a lot. And an hour isn't going to make a massive difference, but it would definitely make a difference. And would it be a nut? Like, would it be worth it? Stream an hour later, less people be able to watch in a short term, but, but more people be able to watch in a long term. D would it work out good? And honestly, I don't know if it would. So maybe I will just keep streaming a four. Yeah, so like me, me being a scammer is not a big deal because I've been doing it since 2021, apparently. Which is me not knowing when to do sub goals, not knowing if people are actually interested in doing in my sub goal, some of the sub goals. Okay. It's an insecurity thing. Dude, Scooby-Doo took me like seven hours. What the fuck are you on about, bro? I'm glad you're doing well. 20 Dude, 2018 Purple never met sub goals because no one watched them. Right? I, I, like, how many sub goals did I do in 2018? Probably like three or four. I'm pretty sure one of them was Robotic Revenge. It was like Robotic Revenge. I think there was something in like the Discord server as well that we did. I found one. Oh no. This is, is this gonna happen like the entire stream? I did see that you were getting into streaming again, Cotton, but... I haven't been able to watch because, um, le busy. Twenty eighteen feels like a hundred years ago. I've got my first movie world record in twenty eighteen. It was July first, I remember. Which by the way, if I was on NTSC OG NTSC OG at the time, then I would have already had world record for like a while, but Yeah, we won't get into that one. Um my first like proper yeah, so like the first time I I officially had world record. God damn it was July 1st, 2018. And I remember when it was 2019, and I was like... And I was like, damn, bro. Like, it's been a year already since I got World Record. There's like, oh, it's been two years? Oh, it's been three years? And now... It's gonna be fucking five years soon. Just two months, and then, like... A week and a half. That's pretty good. Yeah, it shows I've been around the block for a while. Alright, that has to be enough practice now. Yeah, I, f I forgot Americans go to school, like, really early. Some Americans be having classes at, like, 7 a.m., bro. I wake I used to wake up at 7.45 for school. So that's when I used to wake up. Now, granted, I'd always be, like, a few minutes late, which the teachers didn't like, and I used to, like, never have time to, like, actually shower or eat. Just wake up, rush out of bed, put the clothes on, brush my teeth, grab my books or whatever the fuck I need, and then get in the car. And, I, and even then, I'd still always be, like, two minutes late to school, but that's not the point. You don't fucking stream. You hack. Never 
interfere, good citizens of Bikini Bottom. Disgusting as possible, I sneezed. Yep, excitement, adventure, just another day in the life of a manager. And it hurt my throat, too. It's a short slide from manager to... I think you guys are forgetting something, right? Manager coming through. You know, in 2018, you're probably like, man, I wish I could go back to, like, 2014 or whatever. And then when it's 2020, it's like, damn, I wish I could go back to, like, 2017, 2018. Then now, you're just like, guys, guys, I really wish you could... You see where I'm getting... Like, you... Those times were probably worse than you remember. And in, like, five years from now, you're gonna be like, man, 2023 was my year. I want to go back to 2023. Oh, no. Purple Foundation. Hey. Hey, purple. Uh, well, I'd like to wake up now. You suck. How about that? You probably suck off then. Um. Uh. You do be looking pretty awake to me, though. I kind of don't like, I, I was, I think about this a lot, right? I, I actually do think about this, like, all the time. I probably should stop thinking about it, but... One thing I think about all the time is if I just randomly got thrown back in time, back into my old body, but I kept my thoughts and stuff, and I went back to, like, 2010 or something, and I had to, like, relive moments, and I could avoid bad th certain bad things from happening, or I could even, like... See if I try to remember any uh, lottery numbers. We can win the lottery, or just, or I'd already know all the movie strats ahead of time and stuff like that. But then I remembered, like, oh, but don't you remember when that thing happened in school? Don't you remember when this thing happened in school? And that thing, 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 and that thing. And that thing. I don't want to relive those days. My dog's barking like a mouse. My first year in middle school was fucking horrible. Then the second year was better, but still horrible. The third year was better, but still horrible. The fourth year was a huge step up, but it was still kind of bad. And then the final year was all right. Until I went into sixth form, and then those year 12 was okay, and year 13 was bad. And then I was done with school. So yeah, not a good track record. I don't want to relive that. And then what happened after I got out of school? I was depressed because I had hand pain. I fixed the hand pain. What happened like right after the hand pain? COVID. Nice. So yeah, there's like no good points in my life that I want to relive. So much destruction. The only- like, okay, yeah, sure. I would like to relive those moments when me and the boys went out for lunch. We go to the chippy at the local chippy next to the school. We go to eat, see, eat some fucking chips, go fuck around for a while. I want that back. And I want back those days, even before those times, where after every day in school, I'd go on my favorite Minecraft servers and just grind until I had to go to bed. I do miss those days, those two things. But it's not worth, like, reliving every single day of the week over- Week after week after week after week after week, you know. It's not worth it. If I could go back for, like, one day a year or something, I would. I, I would happily do that, but... I can't. And- and- But if I only had the option of just going back permanently, or staying how it is now, like, I'd rather just stay how it is now. <laughs> you might be onto something, Lucy. 
I still, it's so weird that they even got that time. They know, like, they knew, like, all the fucking strats except for skydive. It's so weird. How do they know, like, all of the strats? Back in 2004. Scam my points. I fucking responded to the message, bro, did I not? I don't really even uh, see the point of highlight my message, because you can just at me, and it's even more obnoxious than highlight my message, so I guess the <laughs> point across more. I guess it's a way of making yourself, your message stand out without being annoying, but like... I don't really miss messages most of the time. School does a tutorial where you get told the same two dozen things halfway through the tutorial. Kinda, yeah. You don't- you really- and I don't want to sound like a fucking Zuma. But, like, the amount of- the, the number- think about the number of years that you're in school for. In the UK, we start school at, like, four. And the- and you can leave after you turn 16 and do the exams. But that's a lot of years. I'm not a Zuma. If the devs were using a strat that we just didn't know about, that'd be fucking insane. Okay, I have hardly- I haven't played Fortnite, with the exception of playing it for like an hour and a half or something a couple weeks ago. Other than that, I haven't played Fortnite in like two months or something. Oh yeah, I I once again forgot to finish what I was talking about. Um, in school, you know, we're in school for like a really long time. And the amount of stuff that you learn by then is, like, in terms of, like, being remotely useful is, like, hardly anything. It's literally, like, less than 5% of what you learn. Like, like, what useful things did I learn that I can think of at the top of my head? Well, history. Yeah, pretty, okay. We did, like, the Titanic, and we did 9-11, I think, and we did, uh, Nazi Germany. Yeah, okay. Yeah, sure. Like... That's- that, that's good, methinks, you know? Alright, that's important. And then... What did I learn in geography? Rock and river formations. That does not actually sound useful. Wah. Wah. Okay, well, I'm not- I'm not like a zoomer, as in, like, I need... Subway Surfers gameplay while fucking watching Family Guy funny moments on my fucking iPad. Right. Dude. The kids are gonna get- kids' brains are just not gonna function. You know how many babies I, I see in public that are, like, in a stroller and they were just having an iPad and, like, they're watching some fucking weird-ass thing of full volume? Some weird fucking... Because, like, the parents just do not teach the kid. Well, yeah, it, it's it's important to learn Lucy so that history it does not repeat itself. It needs to be drilled into your head, like, why... Or, like, how it happened and, you know, why things are different now, you know?
I feel like what most of what school mostly teaches you is just like how to socialize with other people and like the uh, like a system of authority. Cause like it's like uh, you listen to the teachers and then obviously like you know you you will probably have to deal with bullying, but you also like deal with friends and you know. Eventually learning what you like doing. Like, on paper, it's a pretty good system, but then in execution, it's never done well. <laughs> like, f any of those fucking subjects except for, like, history. Cotton, what is wrong with you? 1.25 times speed? Bro? What the hell? Dude, no, okay, the background music is too fast then. The guy to and like the person in the video is talking too fast. Like when something when it went okay, for example, right? Here's the reason why Nikor is stupid and doesn't work, right? When a song is made, it's made to be its exact pace, because that is what makes a song as good as possible. When you increase the, the speed of the song, then the pacing is fucked, which is why it sounds bad. Same goes for videos. This me meant to be digested at like a specific like a pacing. If you speed it up, it's not the intended pacing, and it's too fucking much. I can, you know, I can maybe see it if, like, you know, the person in the video just talks really slow. But, like, 1.25 is not good for, for like, 15-minute videos where, like, the entire point is as well-edited and, like, kind of fast-paced anyway. Hello, Mel. Yeah, I, be, I streamed yesterday as well, but um, live today. A manager is always prepared. That's different because this run's pace is very good. We aren't just taking the literal exact same thing and speeding it up by 25%. We're, we're you know kind of transforming this game, and it's quite different from how it is casually. Dude, my dog never shuts the fuck up, holy shit. Hey. Hello, Venom. My name is Deez. How you doing today? <laughs> Would you just like these fucking Twitch VODs to be one- Would you like this stream to be 1.25 times speed? I can't make the game go any faster, bro. I think one thing that is unironically going to hurt Twitch... I think one thing that's unironically gonna hurt Twitch is people's attention spans getting worse. Welcome. Because streamers cannot do anything about the pacing. All they can do is get more energetic, which is very, very physically taxing. So I, I think streams are going to get hurt by people's attention spans being terrible. What's my title again? It's a short slide from manage okay, yeah, it saves time, Cotton, but like, it is, it is actually like no, no middle-aged man does that. 
very much Zuma. Oh, yeah. Well, anyway. Howdy, Wiener. How you doing? Welcome. Nintendo? Nah, I don't think so. I mean... They know that the hybrid console works well, so that all they have to do right now, here, here's what they have to... Here's how they absolutely guarantee that it'll do that the next Nintendo console will do really well, right? It's another hybrid, and it actually does 1080p60 this time, and they bring back the virtual console, and they don't have that stupid subscription service. There you go. It already sold a hundred million units. Easy. Easy as fuck, and it has backwards compatibility with the Switch. There you go. Easiest fucking thing on the planet. Literally bring back the virtual console, make the eShop interesting and fun again, and get rid of that stupid subscription service. Manager coming through. Hello, Latte. Hope you are doing well today. I don't see any time save. Oh. No. Why do you ask? Hey. Uh, well, I'd like to wake up now. I wonder why I remind you of Sylveon. I wonder why. Yeah, okay, but the Wii U fucking sucks. Uh. People didn't even know that it was, like, an actual unique console. Dude, it used the same sensor bar from the Wii. It, 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 for some reason, still had AV ports on it. Like, I don't know what the fuck they were thinking. Also, the Wii U's virtual console was really bad. Don't like him, Lena. I mean, yeah, Cotton, but it's also really dark and has like 500 hours of input lag. I tried doing wool kicks up like a thing in Bob on Battlefield a few years, like years back. Cause I bought SM64 on the virtual console, don't fucking, don't ask. Um... And it took me like 10 minutes because the input lag was actually like a quarter of a second. Lena, having a circle pad is not the same thing as the game actually officially supporting 360 degree directions. I've tried... I've tried SM64 DS on the 3DS. I hate it. I, I genuinely hate it so much. It doesn't feel right. It feels horrible. Like, it, 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 is, it is essentially, in my eyes, a D-make just from that alone. Ah, uh, what line was it, Lucy? Okay, I, I didn't realize Lena was being capster. Do you reckon anyone has ever worn a hat that has cap on it, so it's like, cap, you know? I'm wearing my kappa, you know? It is bad, Cotton. I have ran SM64. I know how the game is supposed to feel. 
it feels so much worse. People already have some issues with SM64's controls. That's because they cringe. DS is just objectively significantly inferior in the, in the controls department. With it to the point where, like, what's the point of adding content when I don't want to play the content because the controls are so bad that it doesn't feel enjoyable to actually move the characters around and do stuff with them? If anything, I need to collect 10 extra stars to beat the game. So that's 10 extra stars of suffering, so if anything, the game's worse. I have to suffer for longer. Nah, he says up we go sometimes. I think he normally says that uh, after, you, like, yeah, just j jumping or like trampolines. Uh, you know what's really annoying? Today's practice session was really bad, but the only things I'm f I've been fucking up so far are things that went well in practice. Nintendo, um, Nintendo fucked some- There was somebody, like, selling modded consoles or whatever, and- and selling- redistributing ROMs or something like that? For money? And basically, Nintendo sued them- that person so hard that he has to pay 30% of all the money he makes for the rest of his life. This is a pretty recent thing, so I don't blame people if they haven't heard of it. Desert Bus Simulator. That would be pretty big. I, I was hoping that that's what it would do, but unfortunately not. I can think of two things very wrong with SM64's controls, right? First of all, they feel horrible to move around, and second, you have to hold a run button. A manager is always prepared. Vacuuming up manliness, even in the corners. <laughs> this is a job for a manager. I tried getting a star in Rainbow Ride before, and it literally took like 20 tries. SM64 would have done a first try. Oh, okay, well... Look, I saw two letters. You typed OG and then SM64. OG is two letters. What else is two letters? DS, right? My eyes skipped it. I saw two letters. We were talking about SM64 DS. I thought you were talking about SM64 DS in that message, right? Anyway, I agree with what you're saying. I feel like most people complaining about SM64's controls just have a really bad N64 controller. I even feel like the camera's not as bad as people make it out to be, even though it's still kind of bad. Of course, granted, I know how to use it to, to get the exact angles and shit that I want, but still... Undocumented income. Yeah. People think that Nintendo went too far. But other people are also saying, like, he was selling Nintendo's products. But, like, I don't really... I, I don't think it's, like, super low of Nintendo of all companies to, like threaten some sort of legal action, but to actually, like, force him to pay 30% of his revenue for the rest of it, like, that's, that's pretty fucking bad. What?
Yeah, I don't know if they're ever gonna remake SM64 again. They seem to like referencing it a lot more than actually remaking it. Yeah, also, why is Wario, like, useless? It makes me kind of sad. Wario actually be like BFB Patrick. Yeah, but like, he's useful for like four stars or something. Do you guys remember those really old rumors back in the day of like, oh, here's how to unlock Waluigi? Yeah. I just watch videos on that all the time. I'd be like, oh my god, I need to go on YouTube and see if the my favorite YouTube has uploaded a video about Waluigi again. They might have an update on how to get Waluigi. Yeah, they were just trying to prove that, S that the DS could do 3D, that's the thing. They were just trying to prove a point. And yeah, they proved the point. The game looks good, and the all the models look really good. Other than the controls, it's a pretty good remake. However... We're still stuck with the same game all these years later. How did I manage that? I don't know. The first time I ever played SM64, I was like 11 or 12. I only started playing it because I saw speedrunners playing it. I used to play on my keyboard. Those are the good old days. Luigi's backflip is insane. Yeah, I, for I forgot about it. Yeah, I also think the other issue with Wario was that... His gameplay... The, like, there, there's only so much you can change about, like, the level- the already existing levels to make Wario's existence justifiable without making such drastic changes that people feel like it's not a, f a good, faithful remake. That's cool, Lena. I used to watch, like, old videos of, like... Mario characters just talking, then they'd have different, uh... Different, uh, you know, costumes and stuff, different colors. Yeah, I used to watch a lot of SMG4, which is an unfortunate thing to say. A lot of people say that SMG4 fell off, but I feel like he probably didn't. Because when you think about what the content is, I feel like there's hardly any way that it fell off. I feel like it's almost certainly a case of people just getting older, but the guy making the same type of content.
Put it, go, get down there, bro. If Mario were was among us. That sounds absolutely terrible, Lena. I can't lie to you. Two years ago. 18 million views, what the fuck, dude? Jesus Christ. Oh my god, dude, his videos are really successful. I didn't even realize. 1.6 mil, 2 mil, 2.3 mil, 2.7 mil. Those are just the last four videos. I didn't realize he was so big. I thought he would have fell off. I thought he was probably gonna get like 60k or something a video. He gets oh, he he guaranteed gets over a mil in like every video by the looks of it. If he's getting for those four videos, only one of them is below two mil, so they probably all get above a mil. Holy shit, man! Three mil, two point three mil, one point six mil, four point six mil, three. Dude, they all have over a million. Most of them have above two million. This get, bro is making, like, th actually thousands of dollars per video. Holy shit. <laughs> to upgrade his data plan. <laughs> what, the, what the fuck stories could he tell with that? 7.5 mil, holy shit. Dude, I can't find a single video below 1.6 mil. Mario reacts to Nintendo memes 11 featuring Maggie 10 million views I found one last Guys, I think I'm gonna stop ma streaming movie. I think I'm gonna make SMG4 videos Do You guys remember Super Mario Logan maybe I can make plushy videos and make loads of money that way. I just need to be cringe uh, I'll have a bunch of plushies and they're pretending to be in in uh, middle school or something like, oh my god, the popular girl in school has a crush on me, oh my god, oh my god. If Mario was in movie, don't let them tame this game. Dude, I can't believe how fucking popular it is. Uh, I need to check up on Super Mario Logan. I know Nintendo were coming after his ass, so he had to, like, change the plushies, but the characters all behave exactly the same as before. Cardin, you say exposure, it would just be a bunch of five-year-olds who don't even know how Twitch works. My view count would go up by one, and that one viewer would probably be very annoying, and probably be 12. I don't want to risk it. Purple. I burp a lot. I also hiccup a lot because I eat my food quickly. If Mario was D, yeah. Roleplay as Mindy. Of course, you want me to fucking roleplay as a girl. No latte. I will not. I will not do that. Actually, and I'll have you know that that's not what happened last time when when that happened. I clicked on his channel and it auto played a video from the home section. And I and I was I jump skid me because I pressed pause on it, but it must have I must have pressed pause pause on it so quickly that it, it was still processing the actual video before I paused it, which means that it fucking forgot that I paused it. Jump scared me. <laughs> jellyfishing challenge. When I play Revenge of the Flying Dutchman, I will double check the jellyfishing challenge just for you. 
Press pause. Shut up. Is it SML? Yeah, his channel is SML. He has, f dude, he has 5 million subscribers, almost. <laughs> Thank you, Lucy. I'm not checking up fucking Fred. He hasn't even uploaded in the past, like, century, bro. Oh my god. Hard on. Have you got this? Thank you. Bro, it doesn't tell me who ba who banned... It doesn't tell me who removed the message anymore. That kind of sucks. I like knowing... I want to know if one of my mods has gone rogue. No, no you did not, Lena Shop. Shop, 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 shop. I wish you could give VIPs the ability to maybe, like, time people out or something like that, or... Certain VIP- like, just, like, not ban, but just, like... You know, just do something about someone. I don't know, Cotton. One- one thing I used to love doing in 2020 and 2021... Used to watch, uh, cringe Minecraft roleplay videos, used to binge the fuck out of them, because they're really funny. And, like, they actually have, like, insane lore in them. There's one where a guy, like, literally shoots up a school, and then, like, the kid who witnessed that, like, ends up, like, owning some fucking restaurant or whatever the fuck. And then the story goes to his kid, and then he is fucking... God, yeah, no, it's, it's all really cringe, but... Yeah. Pretty funny. Always, uh... SML movie. Logan tries to see the Super Marvin movie. They called it Marvin movie. Bro. Like SML movie. Jeffy's witness protection. Okay, you can't call it a movie when the video is 11 minutes- uh, 12 minutes long. But also... That's a bit of a weird v video, I feel like. This content looks really fucking cringe. Does anyone want to make plushie videos with me? We'll make like thousands of dollars for doing like hardly any work. We'll put like 10 hours of effort per into every video and then we'll make like two grand, it'll be great. I have plushies, because I used to really like these, uh, I don't know if I still have my Mario plushies, I might still have them, but I have Spongebob plushies. I have Spongebob, Patrick, uh, probably like Gary, Mr. Krabs, and I have Pirate Spongebob. Uh, I have Plants vs. Zombies plushies. I got them from Hong Kong when I was, like, much younger. They're just in the, in the cupboard somewhere, in, in the storage room in the attic. Minimum. Not including credits, I'd say maybe like 50 minutes, but that's like the bare minimum. Cool. Among Us meets Freddy, Fazbear, and the gang. 10 trillion views. Interesting. Alright guys, I'm making plushy videos. I hope you understand. You need to understand it made me a lot of money. It'd be so embarrassing though. Imagine if I was making a plushy video and my parents just walked in. And shit me being cringe. Like, I can shoot myself. <laughs> A movie's length is determined by movie's length. Sorry, I don't make the ruse. 
Yeah, plushy videos were the shit when we were kids. And I know they're just advertising the more, you know, targeting kids again. SML's videos were always really weird, though. He had a character called Black Yoshi, and he was, for, like, from the hood, gold chains, guns. He liked Kool-Aid. He was violent. Like, a bit weird. And, like, kids used to watch that shit. Does nobody know this? I got- yeah, no, I, I used to watch that shit as a kid. But, but yeah, no, like... Gold chains, guns, violence, talk, you know, t uh, talking pretty Ave. Um, you know, all that stuff. Liking Kool-Aid. There, there, there was one video they did where Black Yoshi, like, runs a Kool-Aid stand. And also, he plays Call of Duty all the time. That's another one. And, and, you know, yeah, just, just weird. I just remembered, like, one part of uh, Mario and Luigi's Stupid and Dumb Adventures, where I, I think... I think some- yeah, someone gets put in jail. I think it's Mario, and he's in jail. Like, he's in the same cell as a fucking, like, a gay rapist or something. Fucking weird content, man. I- I- I had some grape Kool-Aid, uh, like a couple weeks ago. And it tasted like squash, but better. And I- why would- why did I need to put in an entire cup of sugar? Or it might have been two cups, I can't remember. But it was a lot of sugar, and it still tasted like it didn't have that much sugar in it. And, and that's my other question. Why do so many American drinks- have loads of sugar in them, but they don't taste like they have loads of sugar in them. If anything, it just tastes kind of similar to Vimto. Vimto might even taste better. I, keep in mind, right? They wanted me to use four quarts. I had to. I had to look up what a fucking quart was. We have to use four quarts of water. I used three, but there's still the same amount of sugar with the same amount of powder, and I still felt like it tasted not weak, but not strong either. With three quarts. So how the fuck- how is it- so I guess it's just super weak with a four quarts, but it's not even nice then at that point. I feel like it should be in like two quarts, if anything. Then it'll be strong. Yeah, no, fuck you, Carden. Fucking, if, if you look at the back of any American drink, they all have at least, like, 84% sugar. We're not even talking 40. We're talking, like, in the 80s and higher, alright? Like, the lowest sugar I have ever seen on an American can, I think, is 82%. I'm pretty sure that is the lowest I've ever seen. And drinks like Mountain Dew have 92%. Arizona's have way over 100. The problem is that you're fucking fat and have diabetes. Anyway. Hello, Luma. How you doing today? Thank you for the good luck. I'd be so morbidly obese if I lived in America. Lampoot's bull stretching chamber. See, why would you want to fall? Uh, <laughs> oh. 
Oh, fuck off. <sighs> Fine. Well, I don't want to live to 104. I want to live to, like, 70. The gates are locked. See, here's what I don't get about America, right? All the food is really fucking cheap, fat, and greasy, and sugary, right? But they don't have free healthcare. So, they eat a bunch of burgers and donuts all day every day, and tacos, and, and everything else. Mountain Dew, Doritos, and then they go into the hospital because they have a fucking stroke, and then they have to pay like 10 grand because they had a stroke. It doesn't make any goddamn sense. Like, if you're going to have, like, really unhealthy food, I feel like you need free health care. I'm not paying those gosh darn taxes, you hear me? Like, okay, yeah, like, the UK pays insane tax, but... The amount that we pay for the additional taxes is is less money overall than if you went to the hospital after having a, a stroke or a heart attack or whatever, and then paying all that money up front. You're gonna be spending less overall on the taxes. It, w it would only be cheaper on your end to, to just not pay the taxes if you just never went to the hospital for anything. In which case, you'll probably die because you'll probably need immediate attention. You do not receive it and you die. Like a boss. My parents told me this. I, I don't know what the relation is between my parents and this person. I think it might be like a loose family member, so I don't know. But they knew they knew somebody in America who had a stroke and and it cost them and it was from stress from working, right? Stress from working. Right? And they Wait. Hold on, fuck my I have too many nitros. Oh god damn it. This game fucking sucks. Um... He, the, the bill, the medical bill was so high that he went back to work to pay off the bill, even though the reason why he got, he got the bill in the first place was because of stress. And he still had to work to even pay it off. Latte. All right, I'll make... Why is it called that? Oh wait, I need to split, hold on. My weenie is underwater. What's up, Wilcon? Hope you're doing well today. Also true. When I went to the hospital after passing out, I had to do tests. I was there for nine hours. I had to- I had to- I couldn't- I didn't sleep that night. So I was already ill, and then I got even more fucked up. That's very stupid when you think about it. If you get a paper cut in America, you're paying like 10 grand. If you had a heart attack in the UK, they won't see you for the next seven years. You can't win. Wow, my run's kind of falling off. To get to shelf. This town ain't big enough for two frogfish. My weenie is in my undies. Is is it in your pink panties? Or a skirt?
rock slide time challenge. Well, first you do this trick like a mouse. Well, you don't need to. You can do the eel jump, but then after that, uh, well, actually, the main tricks of rock slide aren't even shown in all extras because of the extras. Rock slide is honestly easier with the extras because it's just skipping strats. It's like, uh, other than only having to do one sandwich out of bounds, it's like the only time we're like doing... Where like, extras make the run easier. Split IRL. You might want to go get that checked. Did you know gaming? Did you know the SpongeBob SquarePants movie is based on the actual movie? Well, for the extra. You can just watch how I did it in No Pole Storage. Or Hundo. If you want, like. You know. Although, for the very final trick, you want to do the flower jump instead of the second super jump. Like floor, I Ida, I I as in I'd as in I would, ah uh, as in have, I I floor I would have. I don't know what the fuck I'm saying anymore. Fucking, dude, I haven't watched Mad Pat in forever. He made a video about bottle flipping, and at, and at that point I was like, alright, I'm sick of this content. Fashion Channel. What the fuck does that have to do with fucking game theory and science and all that bullshit? Matt Pat's always talking about some math thing as if a single viewer can understand it, but at least, like, I like you're watching a smart guy. Math. Have a math addiction. Hello, Dingo, how's you going, Brave? No, I did not know that. Thank you very much for telling me. I wasn't even allowed- when I got into A-levels, I wasn't even allowed to take math. Because basically... You had to get at least a B in math to do it in A levels, and I got a, I got two. Well, we, there were, we had two different grades for math in GCSE, and I got uh, two C's because they fucked my ass. But still, I got two C's. Um, and so I, I like literally couldn't even. But it was really, really hard. Apparently, it was so hard. I think the exam was out of, like, 120 or something, and if you got, like, 30 out of 120, they'd give you a C because it was, like, that hard. Uh, not the math that I did, like, the math that they did. 
The great boundaries were that low. Fucks a paradiddle. Come out, come out, you are. Movie tasks. Movies never been tasked beyond like very basic stuff, so we don't know. But if it had like Xbox loads, a task would probably be like a fifty-seven or something. Fuck off. Well, the problem is, Clicks, is that it'd have to be no major glitches and no one cares about it. No major glitches. Hello, Trax, hope you're doing good. Yeah, the th the good thing with math, though, is that it really can get you somewhere in life if you understand it. But I don't fucking understand it, so... <laughs> you know, it, 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 it's, uh... I guess it's similar to computer science in the, in the vein of, like, if you understand it, it's a very good thing to get into, but I don't understand it. Well, I, what happened, Clicks, is that I was always in lower sets, which means that I was in dumber c classes with dumber people, so we weren't taught as much stuff and as, qu and as quickly. Um, everything was kind of dumbed down, and then they changed the curriculum when we began doing exams. So everything I had learned for the past few years was completely null, and we had to basically start from scratch, and it was way harder than what I was used to, which is why I got fucked, and then I had to reset the exams. Thank you for the good luck. Yeah, I don't need math, bro. The only math I need is uh, calculating my splits. Like a mouse. Also, clicks. Um, if you wanted to make an NMG task, you would just do the exact tokens that you do in the run because trust us. Like you cannot make any of those fucking unused tokens fast enough. The slowest uh, optional token in the run. I think is, uh, Depression Combat, and that's, like, 2 minutes 40-something. And then the next fastest one, I'm pretty sure is Sunday, and that would be, like, over 3 minutes. Or I could be Weenie, but that'd also be over 3 minutes. That's based, Wilcon. Waiting as long as possible to get a job is based. When you get a job, your life is, like, basically over at that point, in terms of, like, being enjoyable. So getting a job as low as possible sounds based. Especially as they keep increasing the retirement age, you probably won't be able to retire at the age that you think you will be able to, so you might as well just start late instead of starting early to try and retire early. Well, the routing in movie is really, really easy, Clicks. You literally just copy all the tokens that we do in NMG in, in that exact order. There's only, like, theoretically one thing that you could do different, and I feel like task-wise it wouldn't be fast anyway.
You're not gonna carry a calculator with you everywhere you, you go. Actually true as fuck. Hey, damn right I don't have a job, Latte, you know why? I want to actually not be extremely depressed. What do you know? I was, like, pretty depressed, like, all the time, and then I get out of school and I'm suddenly not as sad anymore, consistently sad anymore, and I seem to enjoy life more, even in spite of the pandemic. Hmm, that's very strange. Schools are just a fucking... They just actually- schools are, like, really toxic. They have such a toxic aura. They make you depressed. And jobs are gonna do the same thing, unless they, unless you get really lucky. If you're forced to do it, it's automatically bad. Which is why j nearly every job is bad. Because it needs to be really, really, really good. Just for you to still want to do it even though you're forced to. I'm talking like, even just working overtime or something, for example, because you want to. I feel like it's gotta be that good to be enjoyable. Unless it's something like YouTube or whatever. But then, you don't- you technically don't have to. But, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, Lena. Is there- is- well, is there any, like, has Blizzard said anything about it? Oh yeah, what I will say, by the way, though, is that I really do want somebody to still task this game. Because, like, a lot of- some things have actually been found from tasking, like, rub -a -dub skip. I really feel like we could find more strats. So that's why I was really hoping Vizimu to fucking hurry up. One thing I would love would be a no pull storage task, but you'd have to like splice Xbox loads. And then you'd either need to get a spliced like RTA Xbox segment for Mindy Skip, or you'd have to be using a mod that makes Mindy Skip work. And GameCube can't do fucking lag clips, so. Well, a dolphin can't, so, uh, yeah, no, it, like, it's all fucked. I don't know why I'm risking that. Well, I'm risking it anyway. It probably worked. It did. The normal distribution. Demise everybody ranking up. Well, the thing is, clicks is that the engine is the same, the tech is similar. I don't know how to task. It would be more reliable. For example, if you if you said, like, who would be better at tasking this game, me or you, it just would be you by a mile. I have absolutely no idea how to task. Yeah, exactly. Tassing generally helps us- it, it can even help us figure out, like, what path, like, what line in just some random turn in Weenie is the fastest, and then we save, like, two frames from that. Even just, like, the tiny shit like that. If we could just start, you know... A task would be useful for even the nitty-gritty, so that we know what's fast.
the first two times I got to rub it up, skip the day, I missed the trick. It's, it's fucking annoying, like, how many, like, how much time I spent on it every single day. I put, like, an hour into it, like, every day for weeks. And I, and then in the end, it just looks like an easy fucking trick. It looks like a really obvious thing that got found years ago and is easy. When in reality, it only got found recently by Atassa, who isn't even in the community, and is hard as fuck. Mostly to, uh... To learn it is really, it's extremely hard to learn. Once you comprehend how to do it, it's not that bad, but there's still easier tricks in the run that we do. And this one, I'm at the point where if I miss it once, I just reset now. There are a couple categories where I could miss it once, but then I'd have to play really good, so I might as well just reset. A lot goes into it. It has like five steps and you need to get them all right with like some leniency. You either need like a, a pretty good setup and no one frame or you can have like a an okay setup with like a one frame. I... You know... I'm just happy to make it across. And the second time you do it, you have to do one frame jumps back up the fucking fence. And then when you go left, when, you, when you're holding left again in Rubber Dub 2, your angle is slightly off from Rubber Dub 1, so the trick is like slightly different the second time. So I'm not just doing the same trick twice, it's harder and a little different the second time. And eight, you lose like 8 seconds if you miss the 1 frames, it actually is pretty fucking punishing. Missing Rubbidub skip loses more time in Rubbidub 2 than it does in Rubbidub 1 as well. Which is really annoying, because when you're that into the run and you miss it, like, you don't want to reset, but... You're more justified in resetting there than in Rubbidub 1. I don't think it'd be that bad, it's just that... You can't route for the category that people like. I mean, you can't ask for the category that people like. Only goofy goofy. Uh, no, I did not know that. Sounds kind of cool, though. One thing you'd have to, like, keep in mind as well is that, you know, when I found out that, like, sliding and, well, yeah, sliding and driving levels don't start at the same time every time, You'd have to, like, uh, fish out, like, the good attempts. And, like, how frogfish can charge you, uh, I think, upwards of, like, 0.3 seconds later than somebody else for no reason. You gotta, like, make sure that's all sorted out, you know? I think there is desert bus. Yeah, pretty much, Cotton. I think an Xbox task and no pull storage would be like 57 or 56. Which would be pretty cool. 
but with an NMG GameCube, it's pretty hard to say. Dude, he's going really fucking fast. Fucking hold up, Goob, Jesus Christ. Desert bus mod sub goal when never. I'd rather play Phineas and Ferb across a second dimension DS and then ro Robotic Revenge immediately afterwards. hundred dollars I'd probably do it for a hundred dollars does anyone want to give me a hundred dollars not for one cent I'd do it for like three dollars maybe Oh wait, I need to get rid of these nitros. Honk for a hundred chips. Uh, I guess I would. If you hit it just then. A backflip? I'm not physically fit enough to do a backflip. Also, if you look at the best pace, it appears that this might currently be the run of my life. I'm doing a backflip during Neptune. Plank is like the worst split in any speedrun ever in this category, so I wouldn't bet on it. And then Mindy Skip is afterwards. Then there's the uh, bowl storage, uh, all extras exclusive potential crash at the end of Knucklehead. Then after all that, as long as I don't get hit in Neptune, maybe. Purple cells. I feel like you're on the internet too much. King me. Bunja be like, ow, ooh, ooh, ooh. Sorry, I had to get a zoom in on Patrick's ass just then. Now I, know how my ancestors felt. I might need to do it again. Ah, oh, fuck, I forgot about that extra. I can't even drink my fucking water, bro. I did I miss that manly before.
Okay, this is actually looking pretty good still. I have like 49 seconds of leniency. What's up, I Pi? Hope you are doing good today. In it. that worked. If that did not work, I'm going to ban someone from this chat. Worked. Never mind. That was the last two frame of the run as well, so I don't have to worry about two frames anymore. Uh. Why the fuck do you want me to get banned so badly? Uh. Runs, um, they were going kind of I was getting runs going, but they were dying to stupid things, um, but then they got this one going. Keep in mind, I'm only like two- I'm not even two hours into the stream. Obviously, by the time this run is over, I'll be over two hours into the stream, but... Okay, I- I banned you once, iPi. It was on accident. Don't say again as if it was on purpose the first time. Thank you, Lena. The only thing I love is, uh... Boobies. Like a mouse. Uh, movies give me deja vu. I still don't know how to like instantly drown there. I mean, I did it just then, but like, I don't know how sometimes I just don't have to take additional damage. If I clutch the rest of this out, which is saying a lot, I, but if I do it, I can gold by like half a second. How about I time you out for like all eternity? I was fully expecting to miss that, and I was going to say that didn't happen in practice My for the ninth time. Hold on. Okay, that's fine. Hello, Squish. Thank you very much for the T1 subscription for half a year. Greatly appreciated. Welcome back to the Purple Foundation installation. Hope you're having a good day. Oh, 
now it's not my name. Oh, I mean, that's not my nation. Minus 14 on the best pace. Hello Markiplier, long time no see indeed. How have you been? I'm gonna change the comparison. Minus 28, Jesus. Oh, I f dude, I forgot. I forgot that my PB had like, yeah, I remember now. The fucking time loss in SCDA. Fuck, dude. Why is that? I like, I like, I, I like the Mario movie. There's like an invisible ledge thing that you can jump onto, Cowden. I you don't rely on it, but in that moment I needed to. It likes to not work. I don't think that worked. Oh shit, it did. This monumental wasn't very good, but it, I mean, it was okay. I mean, it, it, it wasn't bad. I would to to keep to put into perspective of how good this is. Yesterday I got at my best ever pace here and I was minus twelve. This is minus sixteen on that minus twelve. So this is twenty eight seconds ahead of my best ever. But before yesterday's stream, my best ever pace, which was only slightly better than my PB. Now, if Mindy Skip will just uh, work, then that'd be pretty good. Oh, yeah, Kiffa was the first to see it because I asked him to fuck with it. My first ever 111 pace into the split was yesterday, and it died to Mindy Skip, so if it happened again, it'd be pretty fucking bullshit. Oh, I can bring back the paddy wagon, but you'll need more.
Okay. I just want you to know that if I get a time like uh, 111 32 or something, like it might genuinely. I, d I need to check back on the run, but it might be like the best run of, uh, I've ever done in my life, potentially. Um, and it'll be really, 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 really amazing. And this category will be dead for the next several months. At least. I completely slaughtered it. If I could just clutch it out. I'm gonna try a non nitro here. See how it goes. I, the only death I can think of is was in Nether One Man. I don't think I died anywhere else today. Oh, and Plank as well. Um, I don't know how much those two deaths cost me, but the rest of the run's been pretty amazing. I, I didn't get either of the Dennis frames either, so that's like quite a lot of time loss. Missing the plank two frame wasn't great. I think I think that was the only two frame I missed though in the run. That was good. I even got the three meter one, although that one only saves three seconds as opposed to six or five. I wanted to upload a one eleven to YouTube like publicly. Because I feel like this category is a very good representation of the game. So this might be the one, we'll see. Keep in mind that there is still a chance for the game to crash loading into Neptune in this category. So, keep that in mind. Oh, also, yeah, please, Cotton. I think an Ahia would be good. No crash. This boss fight is intense, but upgrading there is just kind of goofy. You just hit da 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 da. Well, I'm just just like fucking kind of concentrate. Fuck. I just lost like two seconds. Wait, maybe not. I had to lose a little bit. I had to lose frames just then, but I yeah, no, I recovered it. I had to stall in the air for longer because Neptune doesn't start going into his fa uh, first person phase until you're on the ground, so I stayed in the air for longer and spun the table. So I lost like frames, maybe, e I, don't know, I don't know how much I lost, maybe like even upwards of like half a second, but I saved two in the process, so I only, I, uh, you know. So this is not going to be a 29, because I've already lost too much time. Which, not getting a 2x is a bit unfortunate, but... I just wanted a 5x, so I mean... I might finally be able to go back to no pull storage, I think that's what I want to do next anyway. 
I, I really need to get 59 some of this because I'm pretty close. I could do it. I just fucking murdered the category for like months. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. Dude, I was struggling to beat my PB for fucking weeks. What the hell? <laughs> like, d d to give an idea of how much I was struggling, my PB, um, the batteries died in SCDA, and I missed an extra in Gask, which contributed to a ton of time loss. Probably, like... About, yeah, like, 37 seconds, probably, around there. And I just couldn't beat the fucking run for ages, and now I just beat it by, it, like, so much more than I even wanted. The category's dead as fuck. I actually just destroyed it. And I'm only two hours into the stream. I don't like getting world records, like, really early into the stream, but, I mean, I can't uh, complain, I guess, because... Dude, I mean, one one eleven thirty. I played a minute sixteen off my summer best. You know when I said that my no pull storage run was godlike, that run when I got it played like a minute sixteen off the summer best, and this run is objectively harder. This category is because of just all the extras and how much more time it adds to the run. It adds an extra like ten minutes, and I just. So this run, and my summer best is really optimized in this category. This run is better than my no pull storage run. It might even be better than, than my hundo run potentially. Th that no pull storage run was the best. I think the best no pull storage run I've ever done in my life, and and I just this all X's run is better than it, and I made like notable mistakes too. But the rest of the run was so good. <sighs> Holy fuck, man. I- I can't- without new time saves, I can't go back to this category for, like, a, a while. Well, I'm gonna have to ask Seth to make me a custom thumbnail. For all extras. Um, so, run was pretty good at this point, you know, pretty good. 403 BBBH is amazing. This run was really good. Uh, got the one frames here. Okay, this split was really bad. I went too fast and got a ledge grab. So my biggest mistake so far is being too good at the game. Um, this was fine, this was fine. This was a bit mediocre, good. I, okay, this was actually really bad, but this was amazing. So it mostly negated it, but like, yeah, I mean, the now the, the, the women was still like, okay, at best. And then SCDA was really good. Average, like this was really good, this was good, this was good, this was good, this was average, this was good, this was alright, this was eh. This was amazing, this was amazing, this was pretty this was really good. So the realistic time saves of the run are the deaths in Navo Man and Plank, and that is basically it. 
In terms of, like, individual realistic time save, I have, like... Let me think. Like... 18, 20 seconds, but when you factor that the rest of the run was a, a god, like... I have, like, no time saved in the end. Fucking hell, man. Rum is actually insane. I don't- I don't know if it was the best run I've ever done, but it was better than my no pause storage run. Also, thank you everyone for the GG's, I appreciate that. I mean, what else can I do now other than... Go back to no pull storage, right? Dude, this is my second stream back. I'm not doing sub goals now, you gotta get people prep. Uh, the, the now the Mem one was really bad, honestly, but even combined, it's like 20 seconds combined, and that's not factoring all the god splits around it, so it's not actually very realistic. Like, I, I can't realistically beat this, but even if I did, I'd get like a 111.28 or something. Mindy skip, the crash afterwards, my disc likes crashing in no cheese recently for no reason. Just other luck elements, it's just all too much. But I, I feel like... This category is done for like a while without new stuff. Without new stuff, it may be done permanently. I don't know. Let's just assume that nothing gets found for extras categories for the rest of the year. I don't think this is getting beaten for the rest of the year. I really don't think so. Jesus Christ, man. I, I have 111 pace splits and I never ran against them because I was struggling too much to beat my own PB. Now these pace splits are just meaningless. Now if I ever want to run this category again, I gotta make 2x pace. Well, I might as well make 1x because it, it might as well be not like half a second off my fucking PB. I didn't even think about that, Lucy. <laughs> nah. You know, you know, I thought about this yesterday, right? My VOD of react- my highlight of reacting to Lamhood's video has like 600 views and- uh, 550 views and nothing on my channel has that many views in terms of like VODs, uh, highlights. I think some have like 50, but that like- that is the only one that has 100, let alone nearly 500, and that was the last highlight I did before I stopped streaming for so long. But I do legitimately think that, like, at least half those viewers are, uh, movie haters slash Lamhu fans. At least half. Fuck, dude, what now? I was recently thinking about coming back to Hundo, but as you saw yesterday from that one extra, I really don't wanna. So... I might just need to play no pull storage. After I get a good gold here... ...in SD-102... ...I will only- I will need to play a minute 22 off the Summer Best, which is less- which is still hard, but easier than all extras. I can't get one flat, I- I- with my current skill level in these strats, I could never get one foot. Uh. Who the fuck reacted with... What is that? It's Meow, but then it has like some- it's like some be beaker thing that gets broken. Anyway, I think beating this will be a huge pain in the ass, but... It'll be a lot easier than the old extras run. That old extras run was probably the equivalent of like a 101, like 22 or something. I just want to get a PB with the new strats. Dude, 
Dude, that run was so good. Maybe after the stream, I'll decide to go back to Hundo or something, but at least for now, I think. Uh, maybe for the rest of the stream, I think I'll do no pull storage. I've really been wanting to play no pull storage, mainly for the SD-102 gold. That shit is on my radar. Also, Cotton, can you please update my world record command, please? Never fear, good citizens of Bikini Bottom. You know what's weird? There is a 10 minute gap. Exactly a 10 minute gap in between all extras and no pause storage. Um, the extras take longer than 10 minutes, but we don't have an exact timing on it. And because the extras add content, you're not going to do them all perfectly anyway. Dude, I really wanted to make a video one day where I do a comparison, you know, like left side, right side. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. I wanted to do a video of every single extra in the game. For all extras and then one for Hundo. The Hundo one would be easier, but I want to do the all extras one first. So that I know exactly how much time it's supposed to add. But... When even one optimization gets made, it's obsolete. You know what I mean? But then we'll, at least for like a while, we'll know exactly how much time everything costs. See, this is why you, you don't... Should I go back to Hundo for the rest of the stream? Even though Hundo is, like, fucking impossible to beat, because I'm cringe. I'm just gonna keep picking up extras. Should I just do Hundo? Oh, good that these splits again. Okay, I can play- I play within three minutes. Um... Why did I collect the extras here? Oh, yeah, because I need to... Yeah, yeah, no, I know why. Jesus, this run is really good. Keep in mind, there's like 30 seconds in Rubbit of 2. If it went for that, this run would be practically unbeatable. So, I would need to, like, be going up against these god splits for the entire run until, like, the very last stretch, essentially. Wait, where's Rubbit of 2? This is Rubbit of 2. Until essentially the last stretch. And then and then maybe I can barely PB by like one second. I'm not dude, no, I keep missing Sunday jump. I don't want to do it like seven times, but what else am I gonna do, dude? I keep picking up the extras. I guess I'm playing Hundo, I don't know what else to do. Welcome. Also, this means that I can finally do my sub goal that I wanted to do. No pull storage times five. I really want to do that one. Um. But I didn't want to do it while grinding all extras because I felt like it'd be a bad distraction. Uh, fuck my muscle memory. So, I wanted to wait until after I was done with all extras. But I don't know what category I want to go back to, but I think I want it to be no pull storage. I still- also, um, my monumental gold is amazing, but I'm, I'm wearing cat ears, so I don't know what to do about that, because I probably can't beat it. Um, my junkyard gold also has cat ears, but my junkyard gold isn't that good. And then after I get a good SD-102 and junkyard gold, I'll have a 1 flat 06 summer burst. I might even implement steamed earlier, just so I can just push the fucking summer burst as low as possible. Because otherwise I don't know what to do. Yeah, it, it's five no reset runs. Well, I can reset on the very first one if I want to, but after that, I'm pretty dedicated. Not playing it normally. If I die in Creek, I still have to wait for the marshmallows to come back. It'd be funny. But I'm not going to get a, a good Creek five times in a row. Let's be real. No, I do not, Lena. Shush, shush, shush. I know I literally do not, bruv. I literally do not. 
Okay, well, I don't have a Miku plushie. They're too expensive. Yeah, Cotton, exactly. You know when Simply did 1200 star? It'd be like that, but not as impressive. I'll do, um... How many tokens would that be? 43 times 5. Can anyone do 43 times 5 for me, please? Yeah, yeah, but, but, but bro. 216 and 200. Okay, thank you, Lena. Two, I I speed ran 215 tokens. Dot dot dot. All right, Lucy, no worries. In it, in it, in it, in it, in it. You know what's funny about this category? This category is completely identical to all extras for like a while. There's um I don't grab the bungee extra in 3K. Well, I don't grab it in. In 3k and all extra, but I bash the boxes, but I don't do that in hundo. So 3k is a few seconds, it's like five seconds faster. And uh, that, that's the only difference for a, a, a bit. Then in, in rubber dub, I grab the extras immediately because I, I need to. I don't need to. Actually, yeah, now that I think about it, I don't need to, but it's best that I do because. They were a little difficult, so I don't want to do them, like, super late into the run. Did, it, did, it, did anyone see that just then? Yeah, that's a text box that you don't see very often. I'm only continuing this because, um... This- my PB doesn't have the funny strat. Also, guys, this is the beginning of me having to do it twice. I'm fucking terrified. Wait, do I have an extra nitro? Do I have an extra nitro? Guys, no, I, I swear I have an extra nitro, right? Don't I normally have- yeah, no, 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 I definitely have an extra nitro. I can use it at the end of the sandwich driving, I guess. Because I went the long way, I picked up an extra nitro carbon. I hope I got a right side cycle, that'd be pretty nice. Oh shit, I did too. I have no idea what this is going to be. Because I got right side and I was able to nitro through it. And nitroing on the fa uh, through the fountains quite fast. <laughs> Dude, I only lost a second. 1.4. It's fucking based. I'm already four seconds ahead of my god run. Are you guys proud of me? Nothing can stop me now. <laughs> it's not optimal. I just happened to get a really good cycle because of it.
All right, could someone remind me to uh, not bash the boxes in a minute? Please and thank you, smiley face. Well, when I say remind me, I'm just saying it out loud so that I remember, so you don't really need to remind me, because I'll probably remember just from this conversation. Uh. Guess what I ate earlier? Spicy chicken. I took it like a champ. I even have a picture of the box. Alright, don't bash the boxes, don't bash the boxes, don't bash the boxes, don't bash the boxes, don't bash the boxes. Do not bash the fucking boxes, I swear to god. Epic! Oh, fuck off, Lena. I had a, I had a cool idea for a, a, sp a hack yesterday. Imagine one... And, and this might sound similar to going into, in, you know, into RoboSponge's brain or whatever. But no, imagine like going into actual SpongeBob's brain and you're like mini Patrick or something, and you and you see his brain, and like, and it's, you know, like we've seen his his insides uh, a few times throughout throughout the show, so you can definitely like make sense of where everything is, and like you could have you know some slide in sections and enemies, and maybe those the enemies can be like gyms or something that you have to clear out. I think that'd be that would genuinely be cool. Have you seen that Simpsons clip where Homer is like... He's not supposed to eat some pie or something. And he's like, I'm, I'm gonna walk up to this pie and I'm gonna go like this. And if, and if the pie happens to go in my mouth, that's not my fault. And then he hits his, like... I think he hits his foot on the, on the counter or something. And then he just goes, oh, to hell with it. And he just fucking eats the pie anyway. <laughs> Oh yeah, his head. Yeah. Hello, Jake. How's it going, you know, bruv? I only just realized that the pronouns plugin's not working again. Ha has it been working? Did it work last stream? I can't remember, dude. Yeah, I'm sure you do, iPo. Um, well, I love it more. Well, that's fucking cringe. I want to know people's pronouns. 7TV should have a pronouns plugin thing. But then if they do that, they hashtag woke and lib libtard, so they're probably not gonna do it. Unironically, Cotton, might want to give it a go. I haven't fucked with ChatGPT since it told me the glitches in speedrunning were cheating. Kind of have a vendetta against it now. I say more time. And I thought my run was too good to beat. I found one uh oh. I'm so goddamn sick of this trick. I think I'm just gonna continue. I might just want to finish a run. Okay, Lena, I hope you enjoy making dinner. Yeah, me and Chad GPT are not on speaking terms because that stupid fucking AI said glitches are cheating. It probably just, like, Interprets it as like. Hang on. We're 
It, it probably just interprets it as, like, the equivalent of hacking into, like, some... You know, just, just hacking... And because it's built from code, it, like, doesn't like it, I guess. I like streaming, but one thing I don't like about streaming is that I have to eat quite early. I have to have my dinner at, like, 3, which is pretty early, and I don't want to have it that early, but, like, I have to- what am I, what am I gonna do, not eat until after the stream? Then I, w I would be having food at, like, 11 o'clock every night. Like, my and that's, like, the only meal I eat. So, that, that just seems kind of bad. And, and then I'll just be hungry and cranky the entire stream. Aw, oh, man. Wait a minute. Uh, I wasn't transferring my gold in this category. Do you see that? My gold in all extras is either a 403 or a 402. This segment's identical and my gold is a 404. I haven't transferred it over. So, I forgot. Survive on Prime. Prime makes me piss. I'm not as into- I'm not into the- I'm not Prime crazy anymore. Because the- there's a shop close to me that just has Prime in stock and there's a ton of it. Not all the flavors at once. I usually only have like two at once, but still. They'll juggle through it and, you know, be flavors for me to have. So I'm only gonna occasionally get a drink from there. Buy a bottle every month or something, unless it's a new one that I haven't had yet. It is special. Just not buying, like, as many bottles as I possibly can. In a brev. I don't have all the flavors. I still need, like, four. I only have, like, half the flavors. Maybe a bit more than that. So it is special. Don't you dare mock me and my hobby. SMH. You see all those prime bottles in the background, bro? Hard work and dedication got me this far. Although they are appearing in more shops. They have prime in Sainsbury now. Hello, emulating. I hope you're doing well today. Thank you for the good luck and the congrats. Uh, yeah, that run was really, really, really good. Better than my no-pause storage run. I played a minute 16 off the Summer Burst. Actual god run. It's amazing that I made the mistakes I did and still played that close to the Summer Burst. I, I, I don't think the hang is ever moving. <laughs> Glad you're doing good. Anyway, I don't plan to make a full return to Hundo, I don't think. But I'm just playing it right now. Because I I have extras on the brain, and my muscle memory is causing me to grab the extras. So, I might do no polar storage next stream. I'll just need to figure out what I'm gonna do. I'll figure it out. But for now, I'm doing this, because... My all extras run might genuinely be better than my Hundo run, and I already made a big fuss about how this run would be too hard to beat. I hope that worked. I'm not supposed to be here. I'm not supposed to be here. Okay, I know. I need a reset. I needed to go to 3k floating block. Maybe if the split was called 3k floating block, I would know where to go. Hello, Peppa. Thank you for the GG. I hope you're doing good today. 
I downloaded your Patrick's Nightmare hack. I just have yet to play it, but yeah, I'll just I'll let you know. That's another reason why I don't like getting runs early, because then, like, peak viewership is maybe, like, four hours into the stream or something. So it's, like, the optimal time to get a PV. But even then, even if it, like, I also like when the last run of the day is PV, because then, of course, I'm just going to end stream after that. Yeah, fucking no chance, Cobb. Yep. It was actually gonna happen is that people were gonna be like, Hey, Pipple, what splits haven't been changed yet? And I'll tell them and they'll change one of those. Or they'll change No Cheese or Neptune. It's a short slide from manager to, well, not manager. well, if something's barely possible and you're scared, I get the impression that that thing is cringe. And if it only barely saves time, then if it's cringe, then it's probably just not worth doing for, like, a very long time. And maybe by the time you have to do it, it might be less cringe. So it won't be that big a deal, I don't think. No, the Sylveon icon change is only for one is for the category of your choosing. And at the time, you chose all extras. Also, Latte changed the icon anyway, so it wouldn't even be Sylveon. It'd be, uh... I don't know what it'd be. I already forgot what Latte made me change it to. Okay, well, there are two potential options, right? Either A, you're misremembering, or B, it didn't show up on my screen that you redeem stuff. But if you d if you have a vivid memory of doing so, then I believe you. Thank you, Dingo. That is actually unironically nice of you. Nah, I believe you. I'll... I, I need the Sylveon thing again. I deleted it off my PC because I thought I didn't need it anymore. I see emulating. Well, if it ha again, if it hardly saves time, you'll be safe for a while. Some routing choices, as long as it's universally agreed that nobody does it, then you'll be safe. Ah, oh, damn it. It reminds me of this really cancerous old tokens route. Where, long story short, you move Creek to late game, but you have to do all, f all four sandwich driving tokens back to back. And then, the, the Creek, you do Creek late game, and the strat, like, fails... Sometimes for no reason, and if that happens, a run dies. And it saves like how much does it save again? I think it was like eight seconds or something. But I'm not, I'm not ever doing it until that clip is made 100% consistent. I'll never, I won't even begin to consider it. But the clip only works like two thirds of the time or something, or maybe three quarters. Uh, it's been a while since I've tried it. People have done that before, Peppa. It really fucked me up when I came back to no pause storage because the fucking... I think I think my uh, SCDA2 split was purposely at the wrong token count. 
Uh, yes, I am. Well, not just all. It's not just all tokens. There's also a couple others. But yeah, that's it was first used in that category. Yeah. Um, you would do it in all tokens, but you'd have to do sandwich driving tokens early. It'd be really aids. I think you also have to do like depression combat early or something. Not, like, early, as in without ball, but, I mean, like, during Nathomen, I think. But I haven't checked the route in a while, so I might be wrong. It's a very weird route, and it can't work in other categories for a bunch of reasons uh, on main. The reason why I can't work in Hundo is because of the extra that you have to grab after Guitar. Like, there's just no way to get around it. It nearly works, but it just doesn't in the end. And then it can't work in other categories beyond that because of token restrictions. Like, at that point, you literally just don't have, a, like... You could get enough tokens... In theory, in, like, NMG, but then... Then you have 19 for now, though, men, and then you can't do anything. And you'd only be able to do it if you did BBBH forwards. But if you're doing BBBH forwards, then you want the Creek token, because if you're doing BBBH forwards, then you should try and do Plank Light Clip route. Because that'd save more. And then, yeah, just, again, there's just no... No major glitches could be so big. We could have Light Clips and Plank, but category shit. We have too many restrictions, so it's just not possible. Looks I changed it. SpongeBob. If you're here. Forty-one what? What? Isn't that what like Robopad RTA used to be called? Wasn't it called like forty-one spare? Or like forty-one percent or something at some point? Oh my god, he said I pee. <laughs> oh my god, he literally pees. So much <laughs> uh oh, yeah, nah. Dude, I gotta do this shit twice as well. That's not gonna be enjoyable. Why the fuck did I decide to do sandwich driving after, after, um... SD-102 after 3k floating block is very stupid of me. Check DMs. You better be sending me chip pics. It's like dick pics, but it's like- it's like your bag of- it's chips instead. It's like so epic.
Hmm. Okay, that's interesting. That looks risky, Cotton. Let me try it out real quick. Because keep in mind, like, if you fuck it up, then the run instantly dies because you have one health. Didn't work. In a brev. Extends out more. You like this? Oh, yeah. And then you should be able to. I wonder how much that saves. I d the only thing, in theory, the standard method should, with a perfect angle, allow you to bounce on the trampoline. I don't think this one will give you the angle to do so. Now that strat is absolutely horrible. And I think this would save more. Hmm. Yeah, no, it does work. It's just extremely precise. It's like, I don't even know where the angle is. It's, it's there. Somewhere. I don't even know what the, yeah, where is it? I, I, I don't know, I can't find it. Well, I guess that's a time save I'm doing. Nice find. You should post that into Movie Shiver. Welcome. Never fear, good citizens. That's a cat eating like potato chips or something. I hate that one a lot. It's a short slide from manager to, well, not manager. Manager coming through. See what? Was fourteen. Cleanliness is next to managerliness. Is the room spinning or is it just me? Cleanliness is next to managerliness. Manager coming through. It was good, thanks. Although... We didn't have time to go somewhere after the woods because we, tr we tried squeezing in one additional place in England. I can't remember the name of it. And not only did that place suck, but it took ages to find a parking space as well. So we couldn't go to a really bussin' uh, cashies. That, it, we didn't, the cashies that I wanted to go to had, um, that was the one where I got my, my fucking, uh, PSP. The, like, what was it, like, th uh, it was like 40 quid or something I got it for. And I think I might have also gotten my PS2 from it as well, for my fat PS2 for 25 quid, if I'm remembering correctly. That place is fucking great, but it was closed. And it was a charity shop that I got Spyro from, and that was closed. All because we were just a little bit too late. Crying my eyes out, bro. Yeah, damn right I timed him out. Uh, I think they did. Speaking of, right? 
Why did they implement a function to send voice messages and then remove it from me like two days later? Does anyone else notice that? It's gone. I don't have it anymore. My name is Oh shit. Hello, Bottle. Thank you very much for the tier 1 subscription for 10,000 years. Welcome back to the Pibble Foundation. Lactation. Also, thank you for the congrats and the good luck. Hope you're doing well. Well, they only increased it to 25 megs, but yeah, no, like... Many less videos won't, will... Way less videos will need to be compressed. Dude, 8 megabytes is absolutely nothing. 8 megabytes, you can send over Super Mario 64, but there isn't much else you can do. Now it'll be even easier to pirate. Let's go. The Pokemon, the Gen 3 Pokemon games are like 16 megs. Now, we, now you can just send them over. You know what could happen in some fucking copyright dystopian society, right? Nintendo sues Discord because, um... Because people are sending over Pokemon ROMs over Discord. And then, uh, Discord has to implement this thing where if it, like, can detect, like, Nintendo games, it'll just, like, not send files. Or something stupid like that. Well, either way, I, I could... S well, yeah, I mean, probably, yeah. But I, I could definitely see um, a big company eventually being like, um, these, um, this social media platform is, um, they're pirating my games. I worked really hard on them, Brev. You know, this game that we don't resell. I fucking despise how anti-consumer Nintendo was a lot, but dude, like, they really took the cake with that expansion, online expansion thing. Because now, un like, an argument for piracy is like, well, you're not, you're not giving me the game, you're not reselling the game. But now Nintendo could be like, um, actually, we are selling you Super Mario 64, you just have to buy the expansion bundle thingy majiggy that nobody fucking cares about. It holds up better in a court of law. It's fucking cringe. They they give you the game in like the least consumer friendly way possible. I like that typo, 0%. Yeah, iPi, they were doing that for years. All, all they were claiming, like, every video. Which means the creators couldn't make money, so they weren't making videos anymore, and then Nintendo would just not make money in the long run. It's actually free, like, it's free publicity. If I'm seeing a video about, like, Mario Odyssey, and I'm seeing how cool the game is, I'm more likely to want to buy Mario Odyssey because I see how good the game is. And if you... If, if that person knows from the get-go that their video is going to get taken down or claimed so they can't make any money, then it's not sustainable for them to make playthroughs because they need to spend the free time doing better stuff. So they, there'll be less playthroughs of the game to advertise it for the consumer. With the extra. I hate Nintendo a lot. I'm, a, I'm honestly, like, mostly okay with them charging $20 for the online service, but the expansion being 60 is fucking horrible, man. It's just, like, so bad. Yeah, 
<laughs> yeah, exactly. I said this earlier, but... They sued some guy so hard that he has to pay Nin uh, Nintendo like 30% of his revenue for the rest of his life. I want the fucking virtual console. I want the goddamn virtual console. Also, the eShop is is cringe. Oh, you know what? You know what I was watching earlier. Um, you know my uh, cosmic shake reaction video to like when they were showing footage for the first time. I was watching. I only watched a little bit of it, but I watched my reaction to it, and it was really interesting seeing like my thoughts on this game that I hadn't played yet. And, like, we'd only seen one level. Part of one level. Obviously, we, you know, we saw an objective system enemies, Jelly. I, like, yeah. Although, I don't think many people would have thought that doubloons and Jelly would be used for the, basically the same thing. Also, by the way... Vote. Oh yeah, I forgot about that bottle. Yeah, they, they they took down... They took down four videos, distributed into two strikes. So now his channel's, like, on the verge of being taken down. So Nintendo did as much as they can get away with, essentially. And it's just a losing battle because you can't fight Nintendo. Most painful. The most painful one would probably be Robotic Revenge. I haven't seen the results yet, I'm gonna look at them later. I still haven't decided if it's going to be tomorrow or, uh, next Saturday. Cause tomorrow might be too soon, I don't know. Yeah, Pepper. I mean, Nintendo's one of the worst companies when it comes to that stuff. It would be very, very, very stupid if THQ Nordic did that. Yeah, it's fair. I mean, to be fair, Cotton, like, this time stay is still looking pretty good. I'll happily take what is currently the Dude, this is this is like the third time, I think, or, or the fourth time, where right after getting a, a PB and all extras or 100 percent um a faster way of getting an extra is found, like immediately. This is like the fourth time, I think. It happened with this extra. It happened with uh What's that one? Now the, yeah, it happened with the one in Now the Men, I think. Fuck, what were the other ones? I don't remember Breath. Crying. Well, when I, I, the Nalo Men one was like a while ago. Um, but no, there's been a BBBH time save. You have to, get to the pit extra. A faster way of killing the second enemies. I don't know how much it saves, though. Because I- it might make it impossible to do- to, like, bounce on the trampoline in the middle of the cutscene. You just get too bad of an angle, I don't think it'd be possible. If it is possible, it's- it's definitely even harder. So, you might as well just say it's not possible, you're not gonna fucking get it. Like, ever. 
But then again, you never get the other one anyway, so... How do you calculate the time save, then? Do you only go for theoreticals, or do you just go for what's realistic on both sides? 41 was my timer I was cooking when you asked. I'm here. Oh, okay. I still don't know what milk... Salt milk... Noodles are. Well, I mean, I know what they... I, well, yeah. Um, you can... No, you can't, Cotton, I don't think. You can kill one of them. But it, 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 it doesn't matter. Yeah, it wouldn't save time because you have to take damage regardless, so it doesn't matter. If you get really lucky, then you can hit, kill the first one early, but again, it doesn't save time, so it doesn't... I guess I wouldn't even call it lucky because it doesn't save or lose anything. It's just very a rare occurrence. Here's a time save, by the way. In one second. Actually, you probably can get the right angle to go on the trampoline. I don't know if it's any harder, though. I, again, I, I, I have no idea how much that saves, though. Regardless. Also, I forgot to transfer my all extras gold again <laughs> in, from MBBBH, but this will... This, there's even more time save now, anyway. The extras are just getting faster and faster, which is uh, shortening the gap between no poor storage and all, and all tokens and hundo. Like... In Hundo especially, it's a lot short. I keep in mind, Hundo is being held back a lot because it can't do BBBH backwards, which isn't factored in the no pull storage to AE comparison because no pull storage can't do it anyway. So, 100% all I, uh, with with the extras, obviously, is very... Um, it's pretty fucked because it automatically loses like over 40 seconds and then time from the extras. It loses like over a minute. Or, or, like, a minute, but um, it still somehow ends up being the extras being faster than the normal extras. Maybe I'll have to try it out sometime or something, Clooks. Vacuuming a penis. Speaking of golds, that is definitely faster than my all extras gold. Dude, I did it again. I did it again! I did the same literally- Oh my god, man. Ugh. I did the lich I did the exact same two mistakes back to back again. The split is called 3k floating block. That's how that's how long I've been playing all extras for. That I it just fucking obliterated my <sighs> This run is pretty bad now. If I remember correctly, my first big times not even big. My first time save, bi uh, well, yeah, yeah, I'll just say big. My first big time save of the run is, is Sunday 2, and it's not even realistic time save. It's just if I play really well, I can save a lot of time. But it was more like an average Sunday 2, or maybe slightly below average. And that's like my first time save of the run. Dude, I might go for the strat, I'm not gonna lie. Might go for it. Mm. 
But then if I gold with it, then I'll probably feel the need to go for it every run. And then I'll have to move my splits so the sandwich driving is early. Which I really don't want to do. Even if I did, I need to get this cringe strat two more times. I'm not- I've- I've only been playing a category where I... I've only needed to do the strat once, and now I'm going into a category where I do it at least twice. And if I do that really horrible, uh, strat I was just talking about, then I'll do it three times. And, the, and, like, that strat is probably harder than the actual fucking thing itself. I'm talking about, uh... Well, I'm talking about doing it... What am I trying to get across? Um, I... In Hundo, you do it at least twice, but you can do it up to three times clicks if you do it and also pair it with a horrible thing. And because my run's terrible, I want to do it. Well, first, I need to do it now. The strat only saves four seconds, so... But the second one saves 12, so... Then I'll save 16. And then I'll f and then my run will be... Alright, cool, man, thanks. I don't like time save anyway. I got like a 216 equivalent or 215 equivalent. What do I normally get with the old strat? Ah, oh, fucking hell, I can't remember. I can't remember what I used to get. Wasn't it like 218? Yeah, so I saved like two seconds. No, my max time save can be only be 14. Did anyone miss the ring challenges? I didn't. It's okay though, they don't take too long. The rings always show you the fastest path. Look, I'm already going on the fastest path right now. Look how fast this is. I'm gonna kill myself. The lava room. Lava room? Load if you stand near the pit from the other side. Oh, wait, I see what you mean. I didn't know that. That's kind of cool. So much destruction. That's a fun little fact. Yeah, you see why I fucking hate that strat. Uh, 
That's what I'm saying. I I do need to actually do a log of that strat, but it looks like it can't be made fully consistent. Which is why I don't even want to bother, because it'll just ruin the category. That feels like a waste, though. As in, like, wasting time. I don't really want to do hundo runs. Like, I don't want to start a hundo run, like... Like, 30 minutes from now. I'd say, like, 30 minutes from now. Like, 7.45 is probably, like, the latest at star hundo run. So, it feels like I'd be wasting time. And if the and if my run is good, I won't do that anyway. Well, when I when I say fully consistent, I mean get it like over eighty percent of the time. I feel like that's reasonable. But that strat feel feels like if I grinded it a lot, it, it feels like it'd be the new Sunday jumper. It just doesn't work sometimes for no reason. Or like it works like 60% of the time in practice and then you get it like you get it zero times in runs. That type of thing. Also, I said I'd wait until after stream, but I can't be bothered to wait after stream. I want to see the results now. I don't think I voted on my own thingy, but I want to. I think I'll vote on my own thing. Um, which one do I think would be the coolest one to do next? You can't just do all of the great ones first and then just have like the mediocre ones at the end. You gotta like, you know. I gotta factor that in. But that being said, I haven't done one for a while. In fact, I checked. It's been two months. Which, granted, I, I, I just took, like, two weeks off. Or nearly two weeks off. But I was taking more a little more time off than normal. And then I took two, uh, a week and a half off. So I, I took, like, two weeks off, basically. I think the gba a thought would be good. I'm gonna vote for that. There's only a 4% vote on the GBA-a-thon. Bruh. Also, 43% on fucking Dutchman plus Roblox movie. <sighs> Alright, well, I'm gonna have to decide then if I'm gonna use Emulator or if I'm... For Revenge of, Revenge of the Flying Dutchman needs a, um... Revenge of the Flying Dutchman needs a... What's it called? It needs more prep, like, you know, people need to be told it in advance. So if I do that, that'll be next Saturday. Hold on. And then the second most one was Glover plus Super Sponge. I could do Glover tomorrow, maybe. What do you guys think? Anyway. Hello, Sky. Thank you for the good luck, I appreciate you'll be doing good. I got a Le Epic run earlier. You wow to me. Hey. Oh, I'd like to wake up now. Oh. Le boss. Does that mean you're doing good? Wait, why can't I see the numbers- the number of votes? I can't see the number of votes, I can only see percentage. I wanna see the number of votes. Uh, I'm the only person who wanted the GBA a thon. Bruh. 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 Welcome. I, I, I hope uh, you are not.
not sick soon at Sky. Clix is sick too, but Clix is always sick. When was the last time I was sick? Not counting, not counting COVID because that's just like expected. When was the last time I was actually sick? I believe it was 2020. Damn, my immune system is pretty good. Once a month. I feel like getting sick 12 times a year is not normal. I feel like the average person probably gets sick like once or twice a year. Or am I wrong? I mean, I've I've always just been... I, I've only ever... When I was in school, I'd only ever get like one day off a year or something. So I'd just be ill and I'd only be ill for like one day. When you think about it, some parents force you to go to school even if you're basically sick. School's pretty disgusting when you think about it, in that regard. Why would it be worse in the U.S.? Yeah, I'd say same for me, but I was not sick last year. And I don't think I was sick in 2021 again, not counting COVID and into vaccines. Because COVID's just expected and obviously the vaccines are going to get side effects. The side effects are essentially you may get sick, you may get ill. So maybe once every 1.5 years on average or something like that, I guess, sick. Damn. I was getting more sick when I was in school, though, so I, I was probably around, like, stupid fucking sick children. So maybe, yeah, no, so actually, considering I was last sick in, like, late 20... Yeah, so, I, I would say then, I guess, sick on average, let's just say every, like, two years. I think that's fair. My immune system is best. Having to talk to disgusting... Arby's customers. That is true. Even though I've never eaten Arby's, it's funny to make fun of it. Um, if you eat Arby's food, um, it probably, like, gives you fucking super age. A state space regression model predicting the expectation of bitches. I'm getting at least, like, triple digits, bro. How's it going, GDP? Um, I'm only back to hundo today. I might not go back to hundo. I need to see what my options are, because my all extras run was godlike, and I'm just... Uh, no. Um, similarly, my no Mindy skip time is amazing, but if I do this new sandwich draft... But I'd have to do it three times, which is cancerous as fuck. But if I did it, then the run would definitely be beatable. But then, would I rather do all tokens, even though that run is also really good? All of my- all of my runs are really, really good, but the worst one on main is probably... Ah, oh, fucking hell, I meant no major glitches. Um... I don't know what my worst run is. It might be no major glitches. And my run is still really good. Hmm. Maybe I should play ETU or something. Okay, no worries, Cotton. Thank you for the good luck, and I hope you have a good rest of your day. Um. Just saying, though, you'll feel pretty stupid when I get 223 this run. My ETU run is really bad, so it'd be a pretty easy PB. 
I have like 40 seconds. I have like, yeah, I have like 40 seconds in the early game, I think. Fuck off. I, cause I had like an abysmal guess and I missed Rub It Up Skip. Granted, I got the one frame, so I only I only have like eight seconds or something in Rub It Up, and then equivalent, and then I had like a bad uh three k uh yeah three k bad three k. So I think I have like forty seconds of time save. But even making it more realistic, I should be bare minimum like minus twenty on a half decent run. Welcome. And then if I maintain it, then he... I might even start doing SD-102 instead of combat, I'm not sure. Because it saves time anyway, so I might, I might do it. Welcome. Bull route? No, thank you. Never fear, good if I implemented that, my objective would be to kill the category as fast as possible so I don't have to play it anymore. I'd be fucking grinding that shit for as long as it takes. So I never have to look at it again. But I don't really feel, you know, I don't really feel... I don't think my world record is going to be in contention anyway. So I feel like I'm pretty free to just improve the time I already have, like with the route I already have. Never fear, good citizens of Bikini Bottom. The manager is here. Cause like again, my run, my splits really are like super bad. Well, the early game is. I would need to, like, double-check the splits. You know one thing I've never changed with the splits? It still says the SpongeBob SquarePants movie early task unlocks. Back before it was on extensions, I just never changed it. Not a bad category, but... In a six... Nowadays, it kind of sucks because we already have Mindy Skip. And it has gone to the point where, like, you are warping right next to a lot of tokens. You know, like, the talk of, um, when a category just can't realistically be improved anymore with the current strat? I mean, I, I think I just did that with fucking all extras. You know, some categories are, are more likely to hit that quickly than others, more quickly than others. And I feel like ETU would be one of the quickest ones. APL would also be a pretty quick one. Then it would just come down to whether or not I got all the two frames and how good my combats were. That, that, that is essentially, for the most part, like what that category comes down to now. Plus, it's annoyingly reset heavy early game. Because I need to do no cheese clips, and then I gotta do guitar, and then I need to do, uh, Creek GGC. Here's my ETU splits. So it's looking pretty good so far, but obviously now there's time save here. That wasn't, you know, that wasn't it before. Um, yeah, easy. I should be getting that two frame guess, and then I have loads of time saving guess too. I should be getting that. I shouldn't miss that, but I did get the one frame jump, so I should not get the one frame jumps, but then get the strat first try, so I'll save like seven or eight seconds. I should, uh, I think that's, um, Disco Skip and the ending to BBVH. I should probably get the two-frame. If I do a cartwheel buffer, I should be getting it. Oh, I see the problem. Oh, wait, no, but, but, yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. 
I should be getting like 10 seconds of that. That is going to be very hard to match. This is going to be hard to match. I should be getting that. I sh Yeah, sounds about right. Yeah, this will be hard to match, and then this is easy, like, four seconds. Because there's only a few splits I'm really worried about. Help them save Mr. Krabs and all of Bikini Bottom from Plankton's dreaded Plan Z. My 100% splits are called 100% new again. When will he play APL, the perfect category, allegedly again? APL, my run is already really good. Again, it's a type of category where not much can change. I mean, I'm better at Nalo Man Combat and BBBH Combat now. So I'm sure I could get a PB, but after that... I mean, that's like the only time save. I'm pretty sure I got all the two frames in the run. And my Xbox is, like, very slightly faster than before, but that's only going to save me, like, a second. There's no reason to play it anymore. I feel like no one would be... Uh, trying to get that record. Because, first of all, nobody plays it anyway. Number two... It has the combats, and nobody likes the combats. And three, even if you could do the combats, you still have to match me everywhere else. So I feel like the only person who'd be able to try and beat the record is Ooster, and Ooster isn't experienced with the combats. So you'd have to get good at the combats. So I'd have the upper hand anyway. And why would he play APL? I feel like... You know one category that people should probably get back into is AWT? Because my time is really, really, really bad. It definitely has the most time save out of any category on the entire leaderboards, both main and extensions. It definitely has the most time save, and it's also one of the shortest. I think it is the shortest, except for Frogfish, Cheap Ascent, and, um... Any- and any percent. So, it's- it's the fourth shortest category, and it has, like, the highest amount of time save. The longest category is Hundo, and the time save, even in theory, is like- is like 40 seconds. Oh shit, there's a runway and verification. Uh, okay, I'm very confused on what this is. Oh, it's Ultimate Chicken Horse. Alright, now I'm looking at movie category extensions. Yeah. The old world tokens world record is a 36.15. I got hit in Neptune and there's more lag clips now and my loads are faster and, you know. Basically... I'm pretty sure I could get, like... I feel like 33 is probably possible. And the world records are 36.15. So there might be 2 minutes and 16 seconds of time save in this half an hour long category. Welcome.
Dude, all of the all of the all world tokens runs are two years older or more, except for bottles. Literally, there's not even one that's one year old. They're all two years older or more. Just another day in the life of a manager. Hello, Miguel. How are you doing on this fine Friday? The Femboys. I was busy thinking about AWT. I was busy thinking about boys, Benny. Boys, Benny. A manager is always prepared. Glad you're doing well. Um, I got like run of my life and all extras, and I just absolutely fucking destroyed the category and. It Without new strats, I don't even know if that's if that run's gonna get beaten before the end of the year. Cause I obliterated it. Okay. And now, because I still have extras muscle memory, I'm playing a hundred percent. But I don't know if I'm gonna keep playing Hundo. Oh, like um, after the stream, I I don't know. Only to see how I feel. One ten, fourteen. My summer best is extremely optimized. It's almost it's it's like almost as optimized as my no pulse storage summer best. Actually, no, it's more optimized, but only by technicality. I only have, like, one split that could be golden by, like, two seconds. The only world record that's ever played within a minute of Summer Burst was Cole's. So, yeah, I played a minute 16 off my Summer Burst, and, and all extras is really fucking hard. So, basically, that run was... insane. A minute 16 would be really good in no pull storage, let alone in fucking all extras. That run was, like, at least 9 out of 10. All the mistakes I did make were fucking stupid and cost me quite a bit, but the rest of the run was, like, so it was just 10 out of 10 perfection. It felt like, anyway. But, yeah, the other stuff holds it back, so it's, like, at least a 9 out of 10 run. I want to upload that run to YouTube. I think I will, but I want, like, a custom thumbnail. I'll have to ask Seth. For a custom thumbnail. Also, my summer best in oh my god, fuck off. My summer best in no pull storage um, is kind of pending because my junkyard gold is still very bad, and why well, say very bad? And I don't have an SD-102 gold yet with the, with the sandwich strat. However, um... What? 
bullshit. When I do, like, tune, uh, you know, fine-tune those th things, my summer best will be, like, one flat 06.9x. So, that'll only be seven seconds left to go. I miss the old sandwich strat. The only thing I hated about it was just how often I'd miss the stupid checkpoint, which hardly ever happens with this one. The every single other thing about it is just sucks. What am I doing? Here we go. I'm gonna go piss real quick. I'll be a minute. I was on Twitter, and I saw that, um, you know, I'm Jay, the Wel the Welsh man. Um, Galaxy Runner. He, like, qu quit Galaxy for, like, two seconds because, like, he felt really satisfied all his times were all good. And then, um, then a 40-second time save got found, so he came back. And he was and he was playing any percent Luigi in Galaxy One, I think. And um, he got world record by like a billion seconds, and um, he played within two minutes of a summer best in an over two hour long run, which is pretty insane. And apparently his biggest time save individually was 8 seconds, which, yeah, sounds pretty nuts. Of course, you still gotta apply the time save to other, the other categories, but seems like Galaxy is not dead. It seems like a lot of Galaxy strats are, like, 
I mean, th this is from an outsider's perspective who doesn't watch that much Galaxy stuff, but... Galaxy Never fear, good feels like um, the type of game where most of its time saves are big and they have to do with like abusing gravity stuff, like a ch abusing checkpoints or abusing how close planets are to each other and then abusing the gravity to like get to the other planet. That seems like pretty common, uh, those two. Never fear, good citizens of Bikini Bottom. The manager is here. I'm feeling like more of a man already. It's a short slide from manager to. He's like, he's like definitely the most successful Welsh speedrunner, which is probably not saying much, but he actually does, like, people, you know, people know who he is, people, like, he's got good viewership, seems to have a good community and all that. Pretty impressive. I guess it's just like low key a little inspiring, I guess. This time zone fucking sucks for streaming, but he made it work. No, it's like. I'd like to wake up now. Makes me think like maybe I could as well. But then again, I just don't know if, like how bright this game's future is, I just don't know. Because, like, I just destroyed all extra, and like, you don't really have that many people looking for strats and stuff. In terms of routing, like, nothing can really be done anymore, realistically. I th this is one of those speed games where, like, the thing that'll keep it alive is... ...finding more strats and potentially tech. But, what we generally have to rely on is tech being found in battle. And like a very even a very small thing got found like an hour ago. I'm doing an all extras, I don't know how much it saves. Maybe like a little under a second, maybe like point eight or something. And then like I think a couple weeks ago, Latte found like a half a second time save with a toast extra that I don't want to do. Okay. And then Latte found like a like a half a second or one second time save an album man that I'm pretty sure is just not possible on Xbox. I keep trying it, I'm not getting it though. So with all that in mind, it's like...
and the, the, you know, for the most part, the people finding these strats, it's mostly like latte, and then like sometimes like sky and carbon, and then hardly anyone else is finding anything. And then I have to wonder, like, will will that be different when you know, at some point? Like, we we. Uh, Vaz was a good strat hunter, and so was Toxic Pinhead, but they're not finding shit anymore. Toxic Pinhead moved on from the game a long time ago. And I don't know what Vaz is up to. Depression and level token, try not to have to do that jump twice challenge. Impossible. SpongeBob. And there have been a few times in this game where something- like, we thought that something got found, and then it was just not to be, and those things would have been a nice little push. Dude, 2021 was such a dry spell. Like, nothing got found for almost the whole year. I'm trying to think of what got found in 2021. I mean, not 2021, in 2022. A couple corner cuts were realized in Rubber Dub, but they were already known in ILs. They just weren't done RTA. But I don't know how much was that saving like a second. Those corner cuts are saving like a second. And then like I can't even remember the shit like, but. I think it was just all pretty small stuff, just adding up to only a few seconds of time save in 2022. Obviously with the massive exception of rub dub skip. But that was something that really should have been discovered like years ago. That should have been discovered in like, latest like 2018, I don't know why it took so long. And that's not me shitting on people, because I tried finding it back in the day as well and couldn't. Every, all the runners back in the day tried get, giving it a go and couldn't do it. We all had the problem of like when you get near the platform, when you get near the track, like the game, it, 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 like there's like some force that pushes you and we didn't know how to get around it. Although, I wouldn't have wanted it to have been found before 129 happened, but I wish it got found after, one, like, right after 129. Because then I would have kept playing movie, and it, that would have been cool. Then again, back then, I definitely would not have put in the time to grind Rubber Dub Skip as much as I did in 2022. So I probably just would have bitched all the time when it didn't work, but still. That would have been five years ago by now, so it's like, why would I care now, you know? Yeah, that would have been cool. Would have been a good way of keeping people engaged. When 129 happened in any percent, it was like, what do we do now? I, I quit the game because, like, my run was amazing. I killed all the competition, killed the category. 
pretty much. Hardly any mistakes, like, who, who knew what was gonna get discovered after that, but... Then a ton of stuff got found. Speaking of strats people have been trying to get working, I just found a ball boost jump, I assume that is, to hit the snake button in the FAB Mix downtown in mid-game for free. For free? I, I remember we had like some small talk about that before, yeah. Way back when, like the potential. I probably shouldn't have reset over that. That's pretty cool. Hold on, I'm looking in the server now. Oh, that's what you, yeah, that's what you meant. Why does it like... Why do you get such a huge hype boost from that? So, Welcome. oh yeah, that makes sense. So, do you normally respawn there for whatever reason anyway? Welcome. Never fear, good okay. Um, so this is- this definitely, like, saves time, then, I would imagine. Because it's- it's hardly slower than doing it late game. Actually, it's probably, like, the same speed as doing it late game. Because Cruise Bubble's not that fast, like, this seems pretty fast as long as you can get the one frame. Me win more one frames to my speed run. I wonder what would get removed. I haven't seen a run in a bit, so I'm not sure, like, what is slow or whatever. But the run is pretty damn fast anyway. I assume this would be used in, uh, primarily no boss clip, but I have no idea what it would place. Yeah, I think you're gonna have to ask Smiley, because I just... I think he's pretty good with routing stuff. And then also it'll save you a huge headache if he looks into it instead of you. Hey. Very cool discovery for sure. That game went so far beyond what I thought it would. You remember when I made that route and my description was like, I don't think the route can get much faster than this. Yeah. It's like the equivalent of saying world record soon or whatever. Like, well, it's, it's like the opposite. It's like, you can't just say, like, well, it, it's the opposite this time because you can't just say that it'd be the fastest route because, you know. Like, what do you think's gonna happen? Like, of course, something's gonna get found. Not only do I have a rule about talking about chat activity, but I also have a rule about view counts. You just broke two rules for one. Double whammy. I then also have to ask the question of like... Because I do not have that mentality in the first place. Like... What has to happen in your brain to, like, form the conclusion that it's a good idea to say to somebody that the chair's quiet? Like, what do you think the outcome will be? Because I legitimately do not know. Very intelligent person.
I get complimented more than I ever did when I show her. <laughs> So true. It's a short slide from manager to like, like, just completely, just like, and I, and I really do mean this like fully unironically. Like, how dumb do you have to be to like think it's like it, it is a good idea to just say, well, basically the equivalent, because. Like, like, what do you think, like, will happen after that? Like, 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 what do you think will be, like, the aftermath of that? Hey. Thanks, bruv. Holy shit. Thank you so much. Bro actually said, why is it against the rules to insult you? Couldn't, like, I, I couldn't fathom that one. There, there is nothing on this, on this entire planet that could lead me to that, to, to, Oh my god, of course there's some fucking loser with the fucking... No profile picture. No banner thingy. And one follower. Of course, I, I, dude, I should have known it was just some, like, fucking nobody. Should have known. Because anybody who's, like, dumb enough to say stuff like that is not going to be a streamer. Like, whenever people have just been, like, weird and insulting and I ban them, sometimes I check their channel, I click on their accounts afterwards, and, like, nearly all of them just don't stream. So you just know that their opinions really just mean pretty little. They, they mean enough to bitch about for me to complain about it for a minute, but other than that, they don't really matter. I forgot what I was talking about now. Oh yeah, the BFB mix shirt. My route was like really, really based in girl boss moments, but... But then it got absolutely fucked by the game's tech, so it got fucked because it's Battle for Bikini Bottom. So, yeah. I, I mean, it's still cool and all that, obviously, but I feel like my- the route I made was, like, really good for, like, the tech and stuff that was being used. And I feel like the pacing was really good as well. I, I really, really like that route I made. And, you know, BFB Mix is built on battle, not movie. But, you know, when there is a full game movie hack, I do wonder if people are, if people want to run the hack, 
I wonder if it'll get to the point where people are finding strats in that in that hack, and then they try it in the actual game and it works too, you know? Maybe, most likely not, but I'm just saying. I feel like something like that could exist one day. Need me some movie mix? Uh, uh, you might be waiting on that one for a little bit. Your evil twin, also named Sky, is currently not working on it. iPie's hack is coming out, though. He said it's going to come out within a couple of months. You could. I mean, you could release that as, like, a demo. That's- that's what Sky did with BFB Mix. Well, JF came out first, and then Downtown and Goolagoon for, like, Chapter 1 demo sort of thing. And then there was Chapter 2, uh, and the whole game came out. Like a boss. Trust me, I really, I really want movie mo I, I wanna... It was so cool, like, being able to play the, like, the really early versions of Downtown and Goolagoon, and being able to suggest ideas and they get in, and it's just... That was fucking awesome. See this game slowly form. It, fe it felt like an eternity, but when the game finally came out, it fucking felt awesome. Was your hack a battle one or a movie one? I can't remember. Okay. Okay. Because I, I remembered you mentioned a hub world, but I didn't know if you were doing, like, some movie hub world. God, that'd be so cool. Anyway. <laughs> um... Bro, nobody told me that we did Um, I have no idea how the warp works in battle, and I- I- People have done some modifications to the menu, but pretty basic ones. Generally, whenever they mod it, they'll just make the colors different or restore the beta menu. So you probably can't do that much with it. Or it's just something pr pretty untapped into because the menu just is good anyway so you don't really need to do much with it normally but if you have a good idea for it it might be possible it's just that nobody's done it because the menu's perfectly good as it is yeah yeah well it, it might be good to ask the modding in the in the heavy iron server, if it's if it's possible, because most likely the answer is just I don't know. But but then again, if you want to keep it as discreet as possible, then you know. So fucking exciting, people making hacks. I even downloaded some hacks last night. Alien Arena, Conveyor Mayhem, uh, Patrick's Nightmare, and I forgot the other one. Be pretty base playing them. Well, now it's time to, uh, 
tr well, not now, but tomorrow will be time to give it a go. People, you know, some people might have wanted to mod the menu, but they don't because it seems too discouraging. So if you can prove that it's possible to fuck with the menu, then it might cause other people to fuck with the menu too. And then all the modders now have new access, have access to this new information that helps them become better modders, and they can help make their hacks even more unique. For example, like, BFB Mix is obviously very unique, and the color of the pause menu is different, and you can see the- and it's transparent slightly. But it is mostly using Battle's menu. I'm not saying a different menu would have just automatically made it better or anything, but I- it, it make it even more unique. I feel like it'll probably become a staple for full game hacks in future, if it, if you can fuck with it. Hard-coded mess, I'm not surprised. Heavy Iron likes hard-coded shit. You know what would really be good? Um, when the game is fully decomped. Apparently, they're aiming to do that by Halloween because for the anniversary of the game. Because then you'll you'll fully understand how it's coded. And then, sky's the limit at that point, right? SpongeBob. Like you have the code, like you can, you know. A faster way. Do you mean faster way as in a faster way that allowed them to be able to do it by Halloween or an, a, an even faster way that would get it done before Halloween? Oh, uh, SMH. Well, no. Okay, well, it, it's still though. It, it, it makes sense. Because I remember hearing before that they were only like 5 or 10% of the way through decomping it, and that was, that was like a couple years ago. And I was just like, oh my god, it's gonna take fucking forever. But apparently now... You know, I, I figured there must be a faster method being used if, uh... If it's gonna be out by Halloween. Estimated. It's definitely gonna be done before the end of the year, there's no doubt about that. Unless all the people working on it just stop working on it. Yeah, yeah. That's really fucking cool. Ah, oh, goddammit. That's really cool. I like modding. Well, not my, not me modding. You no, thank you. I'm just gonna check the wiki again, see if there's more hacks. Welcome. BFBB father attack. Oh, it's not finished yet. Unfortunate. BFB beta mod. That sounds cool. Cloudy with a chance of BFBB. No, not released though. Never fear, good citizens of Welcome back, Venom. Wait, hold on. You're saying that fodder attack will never come out? Oh, wait. Yeah, wait, no. Never mind. I don't know why. Never mind. Yeah. Welcome. I will look at other mods. Never fear, Five Nights in BFBB. I forgot about that one. How- it, I don't know how the hack works, but like, if it's what I think it is, that sounds crazy for a hack. I saw this SM64 mods that had Five Nights at Freddy's. And there was a- I think there was another one that had Slender. That's like so fucking cool. Then again, if you're a girl boss, you could probably BLJ out of bounds and then Slender could never get you. Yeah. 
Maybe I will give it a go. I didn't want... Is it, like, action... Is it, like, just funny? Or does it actually... Like, is it low-key? A little skewy? How the hell would that even work? Got modding capabilities already, like... Is there a video I could look at? Three seconds. I that even that's a little surprising, but so it's only adding three seconds. So as long as um Yeah, it means you'll be able to get one extra spatula with cruise boosting, right? So as long as that saves at least three well, you'd want to save more than three seconds, then it'd be fast. Thank you. I was about to say thank you, Sky, but there's two Skies. Two Skies? Ay, ay, ay. Thank you. An hour and a half, holy shit. I'll, like, skim around, because otherwise it just gets spoiled, like, the whole game will be spoiled for me. But I just want to, like, how crazy could it get, you know? Bri clicked on a paw where it, sa it says Nightfall, and it's, like, a fading black, so I to fucking can't see it just yet. Oh my god, it really is just... Dude, that's fucking cool as fuck. I didn't know what to expect. That's act that's so cool. And it just yeah, it's just FNAF. That's so based. SpongeBob. Wait, is there a map to look at? That's a very bizarre joke, because I feel like that must have taken quite a bit of effort. Well, either way, it's very cool that it exists. I want SpongeBob Slender now. But you know that everybody who would play that would just cruise boost their way to victory, so Slender can't even catch up. You'd have to make it a movie. <laughs> I don't think I'll play it though. It might, it might it might be too scary for me. But I still highly respect it.
seven notifications. Uh, it's just. Um. Tetrax's BFB showcase mod. That's from 2018 and then updated for 2021. Three. Or just kind of whatever now. What's really weird is that there's more, like, there's more hacks for movie, I think, than there are for battle. Not counting, like, the very minor ones that are just, like, restoring a model or doing, you know, model swaps or just, you know, very, like, a simple ambush. There's more for movie. I, I guess it's because movie has, like, more potential. It has just more stuff in it, but... Yeah. I really hope they plan to decomp movie when battles done because movie literally just has like more features. You could even then just code back in like cruise boost, and you could even edit the ball speed to be battles battle speed, and you could just technically edit both of them to do the exact same thing as each other. But movie just has most of the most of the good shit, so I feel like. It'd be the better one to mod for. But then again, I could kind of see it being like uh, Banjo-Kazooie and Banjo-Tooie. You know what I found out recently, right? There's like no Banjo-Tooie mods like whatsoever. There's just none. But Banjo-Tooie literally just has more stuff, and if you don't want some of its content that it introduces, you can just- A lot of the new th things are new moves, but you can just s restrict Banjo and Kazooie from learning them. So I don't understand why all the mods are made for Kazooie, because I feel like Tooie would just be a better game to mod for, because it literally- it just has more- It's like the exact same thing, but textures are higher quality and shit, and like, there's just more- moves, and you might want a couple of them, so, I, again, I just don't really understand. Am I gonna die? Dude, I nearly died twice, recovered it, and then I died again from, like, updating position shit. That's really stupid. You know that thing that happens when you, like, try to drag a window to a corner and it blows up, like, the whole fucking thing? I hate that. It just did it just now. I said, uh, you know, maybe at like 7.45 or something I would want to stop running Hundo. But, um, it's 8.19 and I'm still running Hundo. Maybe in like 10, 20 minutes or something I'll play No Polar Storage if I don't have a run going. But then I'll have to... And then I'll have to then, uh, then I'll be at the mercy of the extras, because I will I will definitely reset like a billion times in no cheese to forgetting the extra. No penis sex. No, I don't want to play that, no. I, I, get, I, I keep saying this, but I really need an SD-102 gold, so I really want to play the category. I don't know how long it'll take to get a really good one, though. Really good gold. It might take a while, so I might need to highlight a lot of sandwich drivings. Do you remember that one stream where I highlighted, like, seven sandwich drivings? Because they were all, like, gold potential, and, like... Yeah, they're all pretty damn fast. But one did come out on top. I think it was, like, the fifth one. Hey. 
extra strikes back. Yeah, it really was. All of those golds were faster than the gold I had before the stream started. And I, I was struggling to beat that gold for a while. And then I beat it literally seven times. Within the span of like six to seven hours. Which also shows how many runs I was getting past depression. But yeah, I was I was playing really, really, really good. But I don't remember how the rest of the I mean, I kept going back there, so the rest of the runs were probably going bad. But sandwich driving and depression were going really good. Which, for that day in particular, I guess that's all I needed. Okay, I will get to 2990 attempts, and then I will go to no pull storage. I would like to finish a run in no pulls. Welcome. Never fear, good citizens of Bikini Bottom. The manager is here. Well, it's more like three, because this is one, and then it'll be two after this one. But yeah. The average run dies in no cheese or depression anyway. In no cheese, they die on average to truck skip all this extra. In depression, they die to practically every fucking spot in depression on average. But the highest concentrated average point is probably... Um, like the mean is probably, uh... The creek token, or creek itself, I guess, plus the token. Well, I'm not doing four, I like rounded numbers. <clears throat> Hell, that's what I might get going anyway. It's still very stupid that there's not 70 tokens. I don't know why the fuck there's not 70. You know what really bugs me? I know I brought up Banjo-Tooie a little bit ago, but Banjo-Tooie has 90 jiggies, and it's very annoying because it's so close to 100. Sad indeed. No profile picture, one follow would be like. Again, like I said earlier. The only way you'd have that mentality is if you're not a streamer. Oh yeah, I forgot it's for it used to be 40 extras. Uh if you look in the menu in the in the beta. SpongeBob. Well not in the beta, but like if you look in the manual and you go in, and it shows a screenshot of the extras menu. And you can see originally that there were 40. In fact, they had more costume unlocks. We can't see all of the unlocks, but they had more costumes. Which implies, you know the, you know the, uh, a couple of them that you can only activate via cheats? They were probably going to be in the extra. Which makes me wonder then, how did they increase the count from 40 to 42? And they somehow didn't have room for the fucking 
for the costumes. For the two costumes. They need a cheetah in. That's what everybody says. Everybody says the one in Gask is really stupid. They probably added that one. Um, I have no idea, but... Maybe. Pretty depressed to harass the SpongeBob streamer of all people. I like throw a rock or something, you know? Why don't you just go outside and like throw a rock? Or yeah, you like just like throw a rock. You like throwing rocks? at his head, he might get smarter. Sorry, iPie, if I throw a rock at you, it might give you brain damage, and then you won't be able to make the mod. That would not be very poggers. I need that damn mod. Sky, you have like, you don't just have rocks. I think you have, like, maggots in your brain or something. That, like, and they're, like, movie mix sucking maggots. They only eat the movie mix part of your brain. You'll eventually forget what movie mix even is. And then you'll see the movie mix server and be like, what the fuck is this? It'll be like, uh, Dementia or something, but only for- <laughs> only for Movie Mix. This run is going, so I think this will be my last hundo run. But because this run, like, I should probably actually go for a PB this run. But I don't think I'm gonna continue a dead run. At least if it dies, like, halfway in. If it died, like, two hours in, I I'd probably continue it, but... Yeah. Nah, I want to go to 90 now, because those runs will probably not get anywhere anyway. <laughs> I suppose so. We'll have maggots in our brains eventually anyway, well, the equivalent of maggots in our brains. And by that, I mean, um... It didn't pass, but it might in future. 
You know how, um, Elon has been, like, testing, like, brain chips and stuff on, like, animals and some other stuff? He wanted to get a pass to, like, a, a thing pass to, like, let him do a test on humans. Welcome. And they said no, but, like, it could happen in future. But basically, like, the idea behind it is that it could potentially cure blindness, it could bring back somebody's sense of smell, and, and just other things like that. However, you know it's going to go spiral out of control after that, and you know it's just going to be used for bed. If a company has a chip in your brain, they can, like... Well, they can fuck with you, basically. Oh, sorry, the chip isn't working right for some reason. You should upgrade to our premium chip for only 200 more dollars. Oh my god. Hello, Marv. How are you doing today? I'm doing alright, thanks. I got a god run in all extras early. I could finally stop playing the fucking category. I don't know what category I'm gonna play from now on, so I'm just doing this, and then I wanna do a no pull storage if I can't get a run going in this soon. Um. So, yeah, I need to figure out what category I'm gonna play, basically. Because if it's Hundo, then I'm going to be spending a lot of time grinding a stupid strat. And I'll probably have to move my splits around. Am I good? Hello, Lena, once again, Brev. How is your diner? Arby is directly hardwired into my brain. No, that's not a good thing. It's not good to have anything- like, they can do like subliminal messaging, they can control- take control of your body. You know these fucking chips would be made in some other country because it'd be cheaper to import. And then that company will have, like, ulterior modes would be some secret code to fucking fuck you up. It might even be able to read all your thoughts and send them to the- To, like, that country to, like, spy on you all the time. You know what I mean? Sweet chili chicken and egg fried rice. That sounds really good. I fucking love egg fried rice. Welcome. You can't get my, uh, microwave chips. I used to have them as a kid. All right, time for no pull storage. You're gonna have to put up on me resetting a no cheese like a hundred, like what feels like a hundred percent of the time from like bad memory and muscle memory. I love dicks. I mean chips. Oh yeah, I only just remembered this, right? I asked my mum to get chocolate because we were talking last stream, and I said I wanted chocolate donuts and Tango Ice Blast. I can't get a Tango Ice Blast, but I wanted chocolate donuts. I asked, I yeah, you know, my my parents went shopping today, but yesterday I was like, all right, see, look, I already did it. I was like, hello, mother and father, can you please get chocolate donuts and write it on the shopping list, brev? And they said, sure. My mum did not write chocolate donuts on the shopping list. She wrote, and I quote, chocolate dog nuts. And I don't know why she did that. Well, she wrote chalk dog nuts. So it was like she was trying to write it down quickly or something, but like, I think she knew what she was doing. Manager, 
manager coming through. He is white. Oh no, the horrors. Hey. Oh, well, I'd like to wake up now. Either way, I got my chocolate donuts. I kept noticing the one thing I kept doing was eating my dinner and then having a, uh, some sort of dessert. And then even then, I'd still be kind of hungry. So what I actually tried, and then I need to try and force out a shit before I streamed. So I had a good idea. Eat dessert and then eat dinner. And then, because I, I'll eat dessert and then make the food, and then by then... The dessert would have gone into my digestive system, which means that I can more likely force a shit out. I wasn't able to force one out today, but it turns out I didn't need one. Not going that way, going this way. That's a wild keck W in the chat. I've ever seen one. Is that how you spell donuts in the U.S.? Like D-O-U-G-H? Is that how you spell it? SpongeBob. I always mix the two up, though. Because uh, there's the one where it's just like D-O-N-U-T-S. But I, I always mix up which one is the right one. Why do I have an extra? Oh yeah, so, yeah, no, yeah, never mind. It's false alarm. False alarm. You know what's really cringe, right? I want to do SD-102 early, but I feel like I can't, because, um... I do SD-102 right after Rub-A-Dub 2 in this category. And my Rub-A-Dub 2 gold is godlike, and I'd have to remove the gold, which would increase my summer burst. Because I'm, like, never getting a Rub-A-Dub 2 gold that good again. That's the problem. Oh my god. This trick is being fucking cringe. Yeah, I, I know I'm Welsh, but what does being Welsh have to do anything with it, bro? Are you discriminating against me, bro? I'll have you know that I had Welsh cakes like a week ago. They're pretty good as well. Proud of where I'm from, FH.
welcome. Never fear. You know when Patrick said I love being purple in the movie, he he meant he likes being he loves being Welsh. Patrick do be kind of Welsh though. They they're good, but they can be made pretty shittily. You gotta get like good ones that are kind of expensive. Also, the the best like warm slash hot. So you kind of need to eat them quickly or or microwave them afterwards. After they get cold, and then they la they last like two or three days before they go off. They're, they're good. And Shaka, you can only find them in Wales. I've never seen any in England. I just would have thought that they would have had it. I, I, I thought the name wouldn't have discouraged them from making them, but yeah, no, I, I've literally only seen them in Wales. Which sucks, but it's not obviously, you know, not the end of the world. Because they're, they're not super good to the point where it's like... The fucking deciding factor in whether or not I live in the country, but you know. Welcome. Never fear, good citizens of Bikini Bottom. The manager is here. Yep, excitement, adventure. There's a Welsh cake place in Cardiff, but the Welsh cakes do be kind of expensive, though. Clussy Creek. Welcome. Never fear, good citizens of Bikini Bottom. The manager is here. Yep, excitement, adventure. Just another day in the life of a manager. Oh, well, the split name, I hate it. The, sp the split itself, I hate it. Yeah? But this is what happens when you give people power. Never fear, good citizens of Bikini Bottom. The manager is here. Yep, excitement, adventure. Just another day in the life of a manager. Boing. It's a short slide from manager. Dude, oh my god, I keep forgetting. I mean, I said this would happen, to be fair. Welcome. Never fear, good citizens of Bikini Bottom. The manager is here. Yep, excitement, adventure. Just another day in the life of a manager. Go in the rock, go in the rock, go in the rock, go in the rock, go in the rock. Well, not manager. Up to Daisy. A manager is always prepared. Kabam! Manager coming through. Manager coming through. Nothing like a little man type stuff. No, I never did. It's not. It's not enough. Obviously, it'd fuck with me, but it'd probably make. Assuming I'm on my A game, it'd probably make me get like a 105 or 104 or something. I could have done it along. You know when I did. Um, 
no pull storage, uh, hard drive, D-pad, upgrade list. I probably could have done zoom in as, as well. But it's it's such a nothing thing on its own. It needs to be paired with a bunch of shit. Like PAL PS2 Hundo. Um, Dutch Hundo. Uh, D-pad. Upgrade list. You, know, so, you know, something like that. Could have zoom in on it. I think that'd be in the run. I think that'd be interesting. SpongeBob cinematic experience. Welcome. Never fear, good citizens. I'm just struggling to get a run, but may happen soon. Who knows, bro? If I could just finish like one no pull storage run, that'd be pretty based. Yeah, I switched to no pole storage because I want SD-102 gold and because I'm pretty late into the stream, so I just don't want to do any anything else, you know? job for DH. You know people who typo the most? Twitch chatters and, uh, Discord users. They both typo harder than, like, any, any other people. Same. Holy shit. The thing is, though, I desperately need autocorrect on my phone, or else, like, like every single word I type practically will be just fucked. That's the thing. I like to call this Homo One, but you know I'm I'm, I'm doing my magic again. Le. Ah, oh, shut the fuck up, Sky. Anyway... Apparently, the reason why, uh, plain food tastes... ...bad, or, like, plain... ...pardon the pun... ...is because, um, when you're high up in the air, um... ...I think your- your sense of taste gets fucked a little bit.
Haha, <laughs> very, very fucking funny, bro. Um, I've only been on a plane, well, to Spain and from Spain. The flight was only like a couple hours there and back. So I don't really remember anything, but I, I do know that we had a Game Boy Advance and I'm playing Pokemon Fire Red. The screen on the on the GBA looks so fucking bad, but like when you're a kid it looks like completely fine. Also, I got sunburnt in Spain. I look like a tomato in Spain. I was actually like super cooked. I was, like, in pain for the last couple days, just, like, laying in bed. Yeah, I had the GBA SP, so it did have, like, a backlight, but even that sucked. I have four modded GBAs now for shiny hunting. They all add up to a very, very high cost that I will not say out loud, but if you look up the general price of modded GBA SPs, you can find out for yourself roughly how much I spent. Um, but I got my shiny Registeel and Regirock, so it worked out, did I not? I guess sunburnt easily. Which is pretty AIDS. That was the wrong way. It's, it might take a while to stop having that fucking all extras muscle memory. Oddware Pokemon players when they see emulator chads blazing through on times 87 speed. Yeah, I'm not gonna- I'm not gonna act like, um... I'm not gonna act like I don't like the speed up of emulator. But... I, I worry that if I rely on it too much, I'll never be able to play on cartridge again. And that it, it'll just be too slow for me. It also takes the partial challenge out of Nuzlocke's. Because, well, you're more likely to make a stupid mistake, but you also... You'll spend a lot less time grinding a Pokemon. For example, you might just be like, I really don't want to grind this fucking thing, I'm just gonna go to the gym. Raz, like, with the speed up, you're probably gonna grind a Pokemon, because it really will not take long. If it was gonna take 10 minutes on console, it's gonna take, like, a minute or two on emulator. Yeah, I- I just- I just don't like, uh... I mean, you know how I feel about emulator- like, not emulated- 
yeah, I, I it doesn't feel as good, but to, like, to play on emulator, but. I hope that worked. I really just want to finish a run. Sure yeah, gr level up a Pokemon. Hi, Pi. Any Pokemon I'm grinding is Lopany and Godwa, bro. Female Lopany and Godwa. For the record. That 3k was alright. I found one more. That was kind of a dumb setup. Also, the thing, the reason, one of the reasons why I don't like emulator is because I'm more likely to abuse. If I have the option for save states, I'm going to save state. How can you get us connected to a playthrough when you can just speed through all the like cringe stuff as well? That is true, but you know, I, I didn't play for a while. I did not mean to do that. That could have ended in disaster. Well, that would have killed the runner if I missed the tube, because I already destroyed the barrel. Bad RNG. When I was- when I was de-rusting, I, I noticed that one of the tricks that was not quite the consistency of before was rub it up skip That's gonna be a problem. Taking breaks in this game is now going to be quite difficult because of rub it up skip And it'll only take, like, a little bit, I guess, to get back into shape, but it'll take longer than everything else. However long it takes to de-rust and everything else, Rub It Up Skip will take the longest, because it's so feel-based and requires so many steps. Nearly every- everything in the game is harder than it looks, but especially- Dude, I killed the enemies in the pit for no reason. Why am I- <sighs> Dude. There's literally no reason to do that. That just fucked me a little bit. As in, I just- well, that's the equivalent of a major time loss. I got a major time loss on my hands. I knew- I knew the extras would fuck me. I knew they would. Yeah, I'm used convenient. Um, like for example, my my vote uh, thingy, my straw poll for what I'm what, like what I'm gonna do. I think Revenge of the Flying Dutchman is winning, and if Revenge of the Flying Dutchman does win... I'm probably just gonna play on Emu. It will either be Nintendo or Emu, but if I'm using Nintendo anyway, I feel like I might as well use Emu because it would be higher quality for everyone. And, and if there's like a really AIDS part of the game, I might be able to just save state it if necessary.
Which I know I said I don't like save states, but for a sub goal, if I'm just getting stuck somewhere, then, you know. That is true. Also, after Revenge of the Flying Dutchman would be Roblox movie because that would take like an hour max. That'd be cool. I actually didn't lose that much. That probably would have been close to the gold if I didn't go in the fucking pit. Damn it. Technically, yes. It doesn't have any sliding or driving levels, though. Except I think Weenie's now a uh, platforming level. And there's no bosses either, except for Neptune. In it, bruv. All right, get ready. This will be my first time attempting the sandwich strat in this category. And if I get it and I get a well, there will be a big fat gold. Yeah, we need platforming level. It's not as cool as a Roblox movie is not as cool as it sounds, but it is still of some interest for sure. Hello Zero, how you doing today? Nobody said that, but I like your enthusiasm. So true, Woosty. No. Alright. This is so exciting, guys. Am I gonna miss the trick? Or am I gonna nail it like a mouse? You know, if I want gold so badly, and I need to highlight them, I should probably stop saying D's nuts and like a boss, like, all the time, or else every single gold is just gonna be me saying that. It's gonna make me look stupid. Have a goal. Bro, I didn't, I didn't get a chance. No, that would be even worse. It'd be, it'd be, it'd be even worse. Welcome. Welcome. Never fear, good citizens of Bikini Bottom. The manager is here. Um, no. Yep, excitement, adventure, just another day in the life of a manager. Up to Daisy. Yep. 
a short slide from manager to, well, not manager. <laughs> you know when I said earlier that the people who typo the most are Twitch chatters and Discord users? Yeah. Damn, that was pretty fast. You guys must be so proud of me. Hey. Oh, that sucks. Uh, fucking hate balcony jump. This consistency is like a lot lower than it should be. Thank you, iPi. Very cool. You should, like, die to celebrate. Like a mouse. No, I didn't mean it, I'm sorry. That's pretty bad. Holy shit. 212? <sighs> Whatever. SpongeBob. Yeah, it is, but... Doesn't change the fact that Patrick should have caught wheel anyway, am I right, fellas? I don't know why they didn't they didn't give him caught wheel and rehydrator. That would have made Patrick so much better. I mean, it's it'd still be fucking useless stupid Patrick, but like at least you can do his challenges quicker. <laughs> Now that I think about it, I'm pretty sure he gets a decent amount of action in rehydrated speedruns. Because there's no cruise boosting, so there's just a lot more instances where, where like, you can use Patrick. So that's kind of cool. BFB Cartwheel mods. I like how Patrick went from a fucking useless to, like, a god from between battle and movie. Bro got buffed so hard. He still feels, like, secondary compared to Spongebob. Spongebob gets a lot of the action. Well, Spongebob and Patrick casually have, like, roughly the same amount of tokens that they collect individually. But Patrick's ones always feel more secondary compared to Spongebob's. Pretty sure I got the checkpoint. <sighs> well, 
I, I mean, I guess so, but again, they have, like, roughly the same amount of tokens, but yeah, SpongeBob just gets more action. Patrick does get... In the early game, you do play more Patrick than SpongeBob until 3K, and then you play more SpongeBob than Patrick, but not by, like, a lot. But the NMPBBH, it goes back to Patrick, but the SpongeBob and Combat... And you can't even do throwing through until late game. I, oh, and the Sonic Wave guitar. It's just things like that. Hmm. Yeah, I might agree. I haven't played casual movie in ages. I want to make it a. I want to make it a sub goal eventually. But because I did it in late 2020, and I feel like I want to do it again. Uh, casual movie. That's probably not gonna happen. <laughs> Apparently there's like, uh, some sort of movie thing that's gonna be released about Sandy. Like, or Sandy's origins or something like that, I think. You need it now? I don't think it's coming now. I need to wait a minute or two for that. Has not been one minute. Ow. Oh, starting now. Also, I want to get a gold with steamed earlier, so I decided to do steamed earlier, but I've already, like, lost too much time. Not from the route itself, but just from other factors. So I'm, like, already not golding, unfortunately. Unless my gold is worse than I remember, but I don't think it is. I'm pretty sure it's really good. Wow, that has never happened to me before. Well, now I did lose time from doing the route. Even more steamed, so untrue, worsty. Okay, uh, no, okay, no, that was a that was actually bullshit. That's why I don't like that route because the game can just decide to do that. That wasn't even like skill issue. That was literally the game being unfair. Cancerous, which is why we need to buffer them, but then sometimes the buff is cancerous too. Because they're inconsistent in their own right. They increase the window significantly from a two frame, or in no cheese's case, a one frame. They increase the window to like a third of a second or something, or maybe half a second. But like the amount that you lag is a bit random, and sometimes it can lag so hard that you just don't get it. Sometimes you, it lags so little that you, you just don't get it. So it's still, individually, they're not hard, but when you do, like, a bunch of them in the run, it does add up to where you can generally expect to miss a couple. But definitely not unheard of to get them all. It's just a bit hard. Welcome. Getting all those two frames is probably the, uh, you know, buffers is probably the equivalent of getting, like, three two frames, uh, unbuffered where you just walk up to them and don't even set them up, which is just, that, it gets to a point where it's like, how much skill even is there to that? That was my issue with those, with two frame tokens. A lot of them w would have, like, terrible setups. A lot of them would have terrible setups, and...
Yeah. Welcome. The other thing as well is that if the run only had like one or two two frames, it'd be pretty reasonable. But the issue was that there were so many. I think they would have like killed the game in the, in the long run because no, well, because mostly because of no cheese, because that one saves like eight seconds and it's it practically doesn't have a visual cue. So it, it would just be it, there's no way you'd ever get it consistent. Like, of course, we'd be better at it than we would be now. Well, you know, because we haven't been doing it for years. But I bet you, even after all this time, I'd be getting it, like, at the absolute most, like, half the time. Which means I'd probably just reset the other half. Which means 50% of no cheese runs even get to this spot right here. Do not continue. In contrast, when I, when I buffer it, I get it, like, 9 times out of 10. There is still the occasional time of just, well, you know, missing it. Dude, that never works. Buffers were quite controversial when they were first discovered. Because they were making the game, like, significantly easier. Like, it really was a massive change. Like, made it way, 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 way easier. However, that was also when the run was pretty basic compared to now. They got found in February. They got found like a week or two before Mindy Skip. And back then, what were we doing in the run? Well, No Cheese didn't have Truck Skip or the Flower Jump. Granted, Depression was exactly the same. Uh, obviously, I wasn't buffering bounce tokens or, you know. Sandwich Driving didn't have Sandwich Out of Bounds. Um, 3K didn't have, uh, that little funny jump thing I do at the end of Steam Dooley, a little tiny bit of and, uh, the bashing of the wooden plank. Th that, those two hardly add difficulty, but still. Um, it didn't have rubber dub skip. Or even back then, we weren't even doing nearly as many corner cuts in rubber dub before rubber dub skip got found. Some of those corner cuts were quite hard. Uh, BBBH didn't have fast corkscrew. Oh, no, it might have at that point, actually. Might have been... No, no, no. I was grinding fast corkscrew, and I wanted to implement it, and I was going to implement it, but... It wasn't being consistently done at that point in time. And then, obviously, you have SD-102 and Rubber of 2 uh, 3k bungee late. We weren't doing that. We weren't doing, like, the fast floating block cycle that we have now. It's a tiny bit difficult, I guess. Then, uh, we weren't doing, like, optimal nitro shit in weenie. In rock slide, we weren't doing the second super jump or skydive. In Now There Were Men, we weren't doing Bungie Late, we weren't doing Spewer Boost, and we weren't doing uh, Monster Buffer, which does actually add difficulty, that buffer does, so it's notable. This is a job for a SCDA, we weren't doing uh, Cirque Late, Fast Out of Bounds, uh, the Ledge Grab Skip. I think that's everything on that end. Um, Dang. in Dennis, we weren't doing the strat at the very beginning, the saves a second, but the, th that only barely adds difficulty. That adds, like, 1% difficulty. Um, weren't doing a fast, faster, more dangerous cycles of, in SDA Floating Block and Sponge Ball, and even Throwing Fruit. Um, in Sunday, we weren't doing Spiral Skip or Sunday Jump, or, and Optimal Nitro Manager, so it was, like, way easier. Gesk? Nah, Gesk is, like, the same. Dennis 2, we weren't doing a f faster Dennis 2 strat to delay our ball shot, saves a second. It is a little difficult. I fail it, like, 20% of the time, or 15% of the time, something like that. Then in Plank, um... 
wasn't doing like the uh, the newer clipping that is 100% consistent, but it's a little hard, and the the more risky bungee strat. Welcome. And then in the second plank split, we weren't doing um that damage boost strat into area two. It's kind of difficult. We weren't doing the lag clip over to the other side of the level, and I don't think we were doing that exact version of Monumental Bash. Knucklehead was a little less optimal, and we weren't doing the we weren't doing the strat at the beginning of Neptune, where you guitar him at the beginning, and that's harder because it makes the the fire cycle less lenient. It makes it more likely for you to lose time. Uh, when he when he's in his his first person phase, because then you wanna you want him to only shoot once, obviously, but that makes it so that he starts his attack faster. So if you don't have good movement, then he might shoot twice, and then there's no point in in get starting his animation early or canceling animation. That might have all been a mouthful, but I that was every single thing that we weren't doing back then, and every single thing I said adds difficulty. So the run. I'd say the run is harder than before buffers, but even if it weren't, it still it would be at least roughly the same difficulty. Well, While also, because here's the thing, right? The difficulty of old movie was basically just um, gas jumps, like, not choking after playing for, like, an hour and ten minutes or whatever. Or, I mean, you know, an hour and a half or whatever. Just, you know, it was basically floating block skip and guess jumps, and, uh, I was trying to implement fast corkscrew, and then it was the two frames. That was, like, the difficult stuff in the run. And as you just heard me say... There's actually been quite a lot of things that have been added. And even though some of them are not very hard, you'll still fuck them up, like... A tenth of the time, but then you chain it with a bunch of other shit that wasn't in the run originally that you can fuck up a tenth of the time. So eventually, it gets to the point where, yeah, you are gonna fuck something up that just didn't exist before, even if it's easy. And there's also plenty of hard stuff as well, like Sandwich Out of Bounds. But they are harder, uh, they are good additions of difficulty because. They uh, save quite a bit of time and have a big skill ceiling to them. Even some f beginner could just try and two-frame every token, and then if they just don't get the two-frame, they just unpause. You know, they could just get lucky enough and just get them all. But... When it, when it comes to... Uh... Yeah, w w when it comes to... The difference between then and now, there's a much bigger variety of strats, and the reason why that's acceptable is because we don't need the same trick over and over and over and over again to make the run hard. That was what the two frames were doing. They were inconsistent when there was that many of them in the run. You were not going to get them all. No one ever got them all in a run ever before buffers were found, and even then, it's still kind of hard to get them all in the run. Still usually miss one or two. Even if you're good at buffers. And everybody struggles to learn buffers at first. They're hard to learn. Welcome. Whereas if you even understand the concept of a two-frame, you can just immediately go for them. Never fear, good Whereas, like, you need to actually, like, put work into the inputs. The buffers. So they're harder to learn, and they don't even make the two-frames free. They just make them individually easy. But when you're doing... Like, 15 or 20 of an easy thing, you're going to miss one of them, probably. So overall, they still are difficult. And that's the difference. That's why buffers are acceptable. Yeah, there's a massive risk to risking a two-frame. A lot of people wouldn't even risk it. They just go for the one-frame. In the, at least when they get to, like, mid-game or later. Uh, hold on, I'm just trying to see if I didn't miss any messages. Well, see, see luck. See luck, I just fucked it up. It's 
funny how they aren't in BFV at all. Yeah, it's because of the menu. The menu in this game is really laggy. No cruise boost. I don't want fucking cruise boost. If this game had cruise boost, it'd, be, it'd just be like, yeah, but Battle's cruise boosting is faster. Wah, wah. I like bash. If this game didn't have bash boosting, it'd be a terrible run because you it, you would not do because then you'd have to be doing a lot of one frames that nobody would want to do. So this speed game would just be fucking dead. Like they need to exist. Hello, Markiplier. Or I mean, welcome back, Markiplier. Um, no. <laughs> Basically, no. I was just trying to finish a no-pause storage run, but the game is being mean to me. What do I do when the game is mean to me? Sad face. Yeah. Not wrong. Without- well, a, a, a very small time save got- for the category got found like right after I did the run, but it literally saves like a second. Or less. It's probably, it's probably like a second. And now I don't know what category to play. Hey. Now, I... I was struggling to get a PB for like a while. Like, my run had two major mistakes and I still couldn't beat it. And then yesterday, I finally was on 111 pace for the first time into the Mindy Skip split, and Mindy Skip didn't work. Typical. That would have been enough for me to stop playing the category. I, f I wanted to stop playing it. Not counting my breaks, obviously. I've been playing it for like fucking like eight weeks. I just want to stop playing it. But I'm just too close to 111. I, I couldn't. Especially when the only reason why I didn't have 111 already was because my batteries died like halfway through my PB. That was the only reason why I didn't have 111 in the first place. I felt like I had to do it. Um, but then today I got it. I wouldn't really be pissed off, but I'd be... It, it, it would be a feeling of, like, the universe is out to get me. Because, like, it already failed yesterday. If it failed again today, that'd just be super overkill. But you kind of have to go into it just expecting it to not work. That's just how you get through it mentally whenever it doesn't work. I remember my expression changed when the trick worked. So I just kind of went into it just expecting it to fail again. That run really was, like, amazing. I'm gonna upload it to YouTube. SpongeBob. Yeah, I nearly bonked just then. I was, like, super close to a bonk. But the only issue with, like, slaughtering categories is, the th is like, what am I gonna do afterwards? I'm not even, like, I don't like PBing so early into the streams, but obviously I'm not going to complain about a 111.30. That's way better than what I thought I could do. But I just mean, like, all the times I could get, like, all these other categories have really good times. And it's not like I haven't been in this situation before, for the most part. But there's usually been one category, at least, where, like, there's definitely some time to save. 
But now it feels like all of the categories would be a pain in the ass to PB in. And the easiest one might be this one, even though it'd still be really hard. All extras went from the easiest one to PB in by, like, a decent amount to just being the hardest. I think it's my best PB that I have, and they're all really good anyway. Yeah. That too. It's it's really rare though. I don't know why it only happens in that category. Well, obviously I have an idea, but I just mean like I don't know. Yeah, it's just it's just dumb. There aren't that many bowl storage effects where you don't get the exact same outcome every single time. But Mindy Skip and in all extras like the Neptune Crash, like they're just a couple of like the f uh, the, f the handful total where like effects can be inconsistent. Uh, yeah, well, I don't remember how good the run was, but I'm positive it was on world record pace, at least. I had a 100% run where, out of playing Topolis, the game crashed, and that's quite late into the- Especially back then, that was pretty late into the run. This game is... I, f I guess it'd, it'd be a bit of an exaggeration to call it Crash Happy. But it definitely feels like it crashes an above average amount compared to other games. Other games will crash, like, very, very, very rarely. As in, like, if you grind the fuck out of them, they'll only crash, like, once or twice a year. This game... This game crashes, like, a dozen times a year if you grind it a lot. Which isn't, like, a ton, but it still shouldn't be crashing that much. Keep in mind that it's expensive for me to replace my... ...discs. I need to import from America, and imports are very expensive. Sometimes the import cost costs cost more than the game. You know, I might be able to find a copy of the game NTSC for like fifteen pounds, and then the import will be like sixteen pounds. It does happen. Uh, they're probably like the same. Also, people have had crashes before. I've just had more crashes than every everybody else. But I've also ran the game more than everybody else, so I don't know if it's just because I'm unlucky or because I've played the game more than other people. Oh, another thing that happened before, but it wasn't to do with the game. I was on a guard run, final split, batteries disconnected. Well, that doesn't make any sense. The batteries are practically new. Doesn't matter. I tried connecting them, they just wouldn't. Run died. Didn't have any backups. I think what happened was that the battery pack was loose, but that was the first time- That has happened, like, one time ever since. But yeah, it- and- but that was with a different controller with a different battery pack and different batteries, obviously. It happened that time in 2020, and it- and it has happened in 2022. I think. But yeah, that was in Neptune. Dude, like, if it just happened, like, two minutes later or something, it wouldn't have mattered. I was really, really angry, but after the run, I went to McDonald's, so I mostly forgot about it. It's just because SpongeBob's always programmed to smile. Or his animations are always smiling. I think the only one that isn't a smiling one is, like, BBBH. He's like terrified because he's in because he's in the thug tug, I think. Also, there's no way that two frame worked. The game is being kind of cringe. I mean, I missed it, but I just mean when I say game's being cringe, that's just that's just me projecting. 
Oh, I forgot about that. Um, no, I don't think so. If it happened again, I think I would just turn the Xbox off and on. One problem I used to have... Or rather, one thing that could occur again... Um... So the way that my HDMI cable is connected to the monitor... It's connected, and it's dangling, it's dangling in the air, and then it goes into a US- uh, into an HDMI, uh, dongle thing. Uh, I- I don't know what you- Basically, it's a three-in-one HDMI thing, so you put in three different ports and it goes into one output. Um... Nah, it's a sw it's a switcher box. It's- it's a switcher to switch inputs, and it'll go into the same thing, but the output... I click on the thingy and it selects the output. It gets pretty loose. And if you touch it, like, whatsoever, it- the- it'll probably disconnect. With my old capture card, if that happened, it would take about five minutes for gameplay to reappear on the screen. Which, obviously, is a huge time waster. But with my new setup, it's more like a minute, or like 40 seconds. If that happens. You know what? Uh, the game crashed yesterday in No Cheese. That's this game's, like, crash-happy spot for me recently, is No Cheese. The past, like, three crashes I've had have been in No Cheese for some reason. Yeah, it's all good now, though. Well, actually, I still have, like, one problem, technically, but it's not a huge deal. My capture card, Elgato's are really finicky. Basically, I want to enable an, a resolution option called Line 2. It would double my line count to make the capture look even better, but my capture card doesn't like that. I was only able to get the output to work at, like, 6, 8, uh, 640 by 480 or whatever. Or it might have been a bit higher than that, like 720 by 480 or some- just something like that, right? And, um... If I double the line count, it'll go above the Elgato's accepted resolution, it'll fucking freak out. Welcome. So I can make this capture look even better, but I would need a different capture card. And, uh, it'd be expensive too. I would need one of those Ava Media ones, like the, the high- the, You know the ones you, like, plug into your PC? I'd probably need one of those. They could- Even a used one would cost, like, over a hundred. That- that should probably be, like... God, I- I don't even know. It- it'd, it'd be over a hundred, though, for sure. It, it'd probably be two hundred, or more. And, and what would I be getting out of that? A sl- a- a less finicky capture card, which doesn't matter most of the time, to make the gameplay go from, like, a 9 out of 10 to, like, a 9.5 out of 10. Do I really need that? People- people have been asking me now more than ever if I play on emulator because, it, like, the gameplay looks so good. The gameplay actually looks better on OBS than it does on my end on my monitor. You're looking at better looking gameplay than I am. Because, um... I don't know, it just... I, I, I haven't really figured that out. I guess because my monitor's so big. But yeah, it, it looks it looks better on the on OBS. I guess, yeah, it's probably because the gameplay's smaller, it's not taking up the whole screen. But yeah, no, uh, for the most part, I'm, like, completely fine now with, with, uh, capture cards and stuff, which I'm pretty happy about. Hey. Oh, well, I'd like to wake up now. It feels good to have, like, a reliable setup. I just fucking hate that the OSSC doesn't have composite conversion. It'd be so perfect if it had or, or uh, S-Video, or both. If it could convert composite and S-Video, that'd be so amazing. But instead... It can, like, 
it converts like RGB SCART and like a couple other thingies I've never heard of before, and also it does component and VGA. But like in at least in the UK, component was not a very commonly used cable. Yeah. The problem that I had is that it kept telling me it's not plugged into a USB 3.0 port, even though it literally was. And then people were like, oh, it might be because um, your USB thingy is not fast enough to, tr to is not pow powerful enough. You need to buy a more expensive cable. But it didn't work. Welcome. You know what it turned out to be? Part of the problem. Part of the problem turned out to be that I was using the wrong Elgato software. Because there's two Elgato softwares. And one of them was advertised to work with my capture card, so I used it and it wasn't working. But if I used the newer one, then it was working. So that was the problem, was that I was using the old capture card, so I, even though it fucking told me to use it. Ugh. I was still having problems after that, but I, I fixed that. So, I had... An Elgato, this Elgato, this very Elgato, and this converter, this HDMI converter that I'm using right now. I bought them both in 2021, and I couldn't use them until October 2022. I took a long time off streaming, but even when I came back, I still couldn't figure them out. Until one day, I just decided to give it a go, because I took a couple days off. I just tried it, and I don't know how I fucking did it in the end, but I got it to work. And it works for the most part. I'm only getting screwed in one way, and it's be and it's a regional thing instead of like it being the you Elgato's know, fault or whatever. There are certain, there are some games on the Xbox. So I'm in, I the reason why the quality looks so good is because this console is modded, and I was able to enable for I was enabling 40 uh, p in the modded dashboard menu. The um. The thing is with that is that some games do not- some PAL games, so some European games, do not handle 480p. So what do they do? They load, but they freak the fuck out, and they're all- they're, the dimensions are all fucked and they're basically unplayable. Games that use this engine have this issue. So, Battle for Bikini Bottom, Scooby-Doo, Incredibles, and Movie. If, if you play the PAL version and try and convert it to an American version, which modding does allow you to do, the resolutions will be fucked in 480p. But I'm using 480p or else it, will, it won't look nearly as good. You seriously, like... 480i looks so bad compared to 480p. This looks like f like five times better. Looks so good. It still went in. Fuck. Oh, you know what that reminds me of? You know when you plug in when, like, you you know, you're trying to plug a USB into the back of the PC, and you can't see, but there's only, it's basically 50-50 if you get it or not, if it goes in. You know, you have it one way, it doesn't work. You flip it the other way, it doesn't work. You flip it the other way, it doesn't work. You flip it the other way, it doesn't work. You flip it the other way, it doesn't work. You flip it the other way, it works. Well, what the fuck was the difference then, compared to all the other times? Why didn't it go in the other 500 times? Why'd it go in now? Sometimes I even have to, like, double-check, and so- no, you know what I have to do sometimes? Sometimes I have to pull the PC forward and use my f my torch on my phone, so that I can then actually see what I'm doing, and then obviously then it just works immediately. It's so annoying, because, like, you shouldn't have to do that. But whenever you can't see a USB, it just- it just works, like, 10% of the time. So damn annoying. There's the 50% chance that you have it flipped the wrong way, and then even when you do have it flipped the right way, 
Most of the time it doesn't go in anyway, unless you're actually looking at it. And you can feel it, you can feel, like, the entire USB going over the port. So then you just push forward, but it still won't go in. Well, I mean, it's- yeah, I mean, it, it's true. It's true, though. It sucks. Oh, I hate plugging in HDMI cables when you can't see the back of a system. It's so bad. Because, like, my, my setup downstairs doesn't really have much room. But I have to, like, pull consoles forward just so I can even see what I'm doing. The PS4 is, like, the worst console I've ever seen for plugging in an HDMI cable. You can't see. You can't see what you're doing. Because it's- because the fucking console is angled so weirdly. And it has, like, some weird grid design on the back. You can't see what the hell you're doing. It's torture. <laughs> like... PS3. Yeah, I have a fat PS3 and a slim PS3. It is sometimes annoying. I have some consoles that are just always plugged in. I don't have enough ports for it, but yeah. Uh, I fucked myself. It, like, my, t my big TV has three HDMI ports and it's not enough. I need one for my TV, one for my Switch, one for my, um... Series X, so that's already three ports. Then I need one for my Wii, my PS3, my PS4, my 360, my GameCube, and my PS4, if I didn't say that already. So I had to get one of those Switch- I had to get an, a Switch box. I bought two. And even that's not enough, I still have one- that has to just, you know. But even then, I fucked up still. Because I forgot that my PC and my Series X display in 4K. And if I use, like, a cheaper pass-through system, then it'll be 1080p. Which is incorrect. That's not what it's supposed to be. So I would have to buy, like, a 4K one, and I don't want to do that. Because they're expensive, and they, you know, it, well, yeah, they're expensive. Spent a lot of money when my brother was over. Um, although, I've only bought, like, two things since, and one of them is gonna make me money anyway. But one of the things I bought was just a phone case, because my phone case was really yellow and bad. So I bought one, it's supposed to be seven pound to go out for three pound on Amazon. It's quite good as well. But I feel like that was worth the purchase. Looks like this. I'm not too fond of like these little bumps, but like I'll probably get used to them. Oh, yeah. Wow. The the plugs in the UK are very specific. Um... I don't know if I have a good example on hand. Actually, I, I, I think I do. 
Apparently, we have some of the most efficient, uh, plugs in the world, which is pretty cool. They're extremely efficient. Um... this. Where did my controller go? Ah, oh, fuck, I placed it over there. Yeah, they all have, like, three thingies, three socket things. They're really efficient. Apparently, the, the US's way of doing it is pretty wasteful, but we have, like... Which, we... Our electricity bills are extremely high, so that does not make any sense. But yeah, apparently ours is, like, super efficient. Also, uh, our plugs all have switches on them. Every single one has switches on it. That's another difference, too. Because the issue with, like, main, like, plugs or whatever being on, like, standby is that they still not... If you have, like, a ton of stuff plugged in on standby, it, it will waste electricity in the long run. But because we have switches on everything, you manually choose if something goes on or, or not. And also, if, if some stupid baby sticks a fork in the fucking socket, if the plug's not on, then they won't die. So it's also just objectively safer, too. Really, our way of... Uh, well, I think other countries do the switcher thing, too, but yeah, the, the U.S.'s... Not only are the U.S.'s plugs pretty, you know, wasteful, but even the, like, the lack of switches is very, very strange. Because it just means it's like a constant flow of electricity going through the plugs at all times. It's just it, like it just wastes money. Computer plugs. What's wrong with those? Our PCs just use kettle lead. And then, like, the plug looks exactly like the one I just showed you. So we're bowling with that one. UKW. United Kingdom W. Uh. Wait, did you mean, like, a laptop charger? Usually a pretty thick, like, bricks. It reminds me of old consoles, they usually have pretty fat bricks in them. Which is kind of fun, the PS2, the PS2 and the GameCube have fat bricks, but the Xbox has an, the OG Xbox has an internal power supply. That console was really ahead of its time. Yeah, it had the, the power supply inside of it. Which also, which looked a lot cleaner and saved space in the house, is pretty, pretty genius. This console is so powerful. It has a whopping 64 megabytes of RAM, holy shit. But I- I think the GameCube has like 24... ...megabytes, and I think the PS2 has like 32 or something. So yeah, the Xbox has double the RAM of the PS2, or it might, it might be the other way around. But yeah. Alright, no worries. Thank you for stopping by. I will see you around. I appreciate you being here. Oh, 
Yeah, I don't think I'll be doing attempts for too much longer because, um, low-key, want to go for a shit. But I guess I'll see where this run takes me. Speaking of consoles, actually, I finally got to the, the trilogy episodes in South Park where it kind of sets up Stick of Truth. Um, and I didn't know, but like the episode, like the, the three, the trilogy episodes are about um, the console wars between the Xbox One and the PS4. And, like, the way, well, I mean, I won't spoil the episode, but yeah, they, they split into factions, basically, and, like, you have, like, the Xbox One side, then you have the PS4 side, and a bunch of shit happens. It just makes me realize, like, how old, like, the console wars are. I mean, people don't really care about that stuff anymore, but it ain't, like... People cared with the Xbox One and PS4, but not that much. It was mostly about the PS3 and the 360 and prior. But... It's kind of funny, because the Xbox One... I mean, the PS4 demolished the Xbox One. PS4 is, like, sell for a lot more on eBay and stuff now compared to the Xbox One. And the Series X has better backwards compatibility than the... PS5, like, like, not, you know, not just for the previous generation, but, you know, so, and, it, like, there are, like, some games have, like, Series X, like, upgrades, when you put the, when, you know, they're Xbox One games, but then they upgrade to, like, Series X. Six flat. It's crazy that you can get sub six. I I believe before the strat existed, I'm pretty sure my summer best was like six flat or something. It was pretty cool. Now, oh my god, it's pretty cool that.
you know, there's there's now the uh, the um, the possibility. If I play well, then the possibility of I, I think I can even get theoretically. What's my oh, the, yeah, I could. Well, I could theoretically get five fifty seven, but more more realistically, if I played pretty pretty damn well, then I could get. Welcome. I could get uh, what's it called? Uh, five fifty eight. Uh, five fifty nine is hard, but definitely relatively realistic. Keep in mind, like, there's a lot of runs to get out of sandwich driving. Welcome. Yeah, depression, out of no trees. Um... Never fear, good citizens of Bikini Bottom. Also, I saw that my summer best was a 10 flat 3k, which is very unfortunate because I... I really want that 959 3k exit, I think that'd be really cool. I hope I can get that before the 59 summer burst. But I don't know, in terms of milliseconds, how close I am to 9.59. It might be a 10 flat point, like 9, which would really suck. Then it's just, like, not happening. But if it's, like, point four or something, it could happen, maybe. Then again, my no-cheese is extremely optimized, and my depression is ungodly optimized. My sandwich driving is pretty damn optimized, and my 3K is, at least with the current stress, pretty optimized. Although I'm doing two small time saves I wasn't doing before. Which, I don't know how much they add up to. Maybe, like... Like point three. Hello, Stash. How are you and Joel? All your Joel's Joel family doing today? Uh, well, I'd like to wake up now. Glad you were. <laughs> glad you're all doing good. Um, I'm doing alright, thanks. Um, I got 1.11.30 earlier, which was, like, absolutely godlike. If I can get Seth to make a bus and thumbnail, it's definitely gonna go on YouTube. Yeah, I wanted 1.11.59, and that time was getting worse and worse and worse. So maybe I would have gone to the point soon where I'd be like, no, I want 4x, but either way, I got 30. 3-0. Nearly got 29, which is pretty crazy. Now it's just a thing of I don't know what category to play next. I was playing 100% because of the extras, now I'm playing no pole storage. But I've only gotten one run going in no pole storage, and I accidentally went in the pit in BBBH, so I lost a bunch of time for no reason. And then, um... What happened after that? Oh yeah, I went for fast sandwich out of bounds in SD one two. My first ever time doing it in SD one or two, and I missed it. A bad angle on the dirt pile. So I was basically just fucking resetting for SD one or two, but I can't even get that anymore. Cringe. But yeah, I don't know what to do. Like, I don't even. I don't. I don't know if I'm doing a sub goal tomorrow. I don't even know if I'm streaming tomorrow. I don't know. And even if I do stream and it's not a sub goal, I don't know what I will play because it, it'll either be no pause storage or one hundred percent. But they're both pretty equally terrible to play at the moment. But no pause storage, I really want a couple golds. My junkyard gold is bad, and obviously my SD one or two gold is horrible. Obviously because I haven't done the strat yet. But it'll take a while to get a good gold there probably. So, you know. And Hundo would be really hard, but if I get a run going, like, it's a good way of getting two and a half hours, like, you know, it, the good thing about Hundo is that it's easy to dump time into it. Because it's a little more forgiving, because obviously you can play further off your summer burst. I, I my, my PB is like, it's like... Nearly, th it's like just under three minutes off the summer burst, which is pretty good for Hondo, but still. Um, maybe. 
Nah, these games still have some juice in them at the moment. And even then... I did try playing Pokemon Stadium before, and people did not move on to the... That was back in 2019, though. I feel like even if I want... I, I don't really feel like playing another game, but even if I did want to play another game, I honestly don't think most people would watch. A lot of people can say they can, but I just feel like long-term, a lot of people just wouldn't. Um... So I feel like... To maintain viewership, I feel like... If I were to approach it like that, I feel like the only game that I could actually switch to would be Battle. And you know how I feel about Battle. Uh. And even then, my viewership might still drop. It might go up, but I think it would drop. I don't think it would drop by a lot, but I would still think it would drop. If, no, I fucking don't. The game sucks. The only thing I'll give the game is that it somehow never fucking dies. So there's always something to go for in that game, so it'll never fucking die. I, I have played, like, two hours of Fortnite or something in the past, like, two months. Don't be slandering me now, bro, SMH. Anyway, yeah, like, I think it would be kind of exciting at first to play Battle, because, like... My PB's at 57. Basically... I ran, like, I ran the game for, like, two days in 2020. It was before Hard Drive was allowed. I did not do any de-rusting, and I just copied some, I, I think, like, Sky's Route, except I changed, like, one or two spatulas. And I just did runs for two days, and I got that terrible run. It was, like, a high 57. I wanted, like, a mid-56 or something, but, you know. It was pretty bad. Um... Obviously, now I'll be doing a completely different route. If I played it again. And I'd be playing on hard drive. My- this hard drive is really fast, so I wouldn't have to worry about that. I already have a fast hard drive. It's like the fastest one. Um... The- one of the issues with battle is that there's 500 routes you could do, and I don't know what would be good for me. Would I have a, a heavy- a, an early game that's reset heavy, so that I can... Because maybe it'll be faster overall, or do I dial it back a bit, lose a little bit of time in the early game, but like the whole thing's easier, or do I... Distribute the difficulty so that it's more engaging for viewers while also being less aids, but it might still be cringe to lose a run in late game because of something I could have done in mid or early game. A lot of questions, I don't know what would be good for me, basically. The way I think, Sky generally likes doing easy but fast routes. So I could probably just copy whatever Sky does and just make small changes to it, honestly, but... Also, another reason why I don't want to do, um... Battle Any Percent is because I want that 58 to no SBA. I want to do the exact same strats I did in 2018 or else there's no point. I want it to be, like, the same experience as getting it back then. The only thing is my Xbox is very slightly fast now, but by the end of the run, that's probably only gonna make, like, a second difference or something. Like, second and a half max. It's barely faster than my old Xbox. Um, additionally... Additionally, um... Well, yeah, so, if I spend all that time learning new stuff and my movement gets even better and all that stuff, uh, you know, I won't be able to properly go for 58 and no SBA. 
because I've already, like, advanced my skill level, like, far beyond, like... If I just learn all the newer stuff, I'll, I'll become a much better player much quicker. But I don't, like, so, if I do that, I'd want to get 58 first, but I don't know if I'll ever even have the time to do that, because that'd actually be a pretty hard time to get with the stress I was doing back then. Welcome back, Eva. And how's it going, Maya Bell and Crash? Thank you for the good luck, Crash. I appreciate it. Oh yeah, the creature run is really dumb. You just get like a- you just play- you play through Diesel, and then you replay Diesel again, partly, and then you go to the shop, get the thing first try. It's, it's over a 1 in 100 chance, it's very low. And then you do Hypnotic Highway, and then you win. It's fucking stupid. Pause storage it allows you to warp nearly any way you want by abusing the menu, and you can duplicate tokens. Um, it's very hard to explain how it happens, but basically you have to run out of storage while still playing on a save file. And your save file gets really fucked up and corrupted. And when you close the, the text box that tells you that the storage is full, you can, you can, you can cancel it and then press... Basically, it'll open the menu, but you can see the game in the background. And then you trick the game into thinking that you want to warp somewhere when you actually don't. So, um... So it fucks up the menu. Um, so let's say you want to warp to No Cheese. When it says, alright, you asked for it, and it takes like over a second to transition... Then, you can go in the menu and warp anywhere you want, as, as so long as you can make it in time. You basically have, like, a short countdown, so you need to scroll down as far as you can to wherever you need to go. Like, like there when it pulls, like, alright, you asked for it, you'd be actually scrolling down in the menu, trying to get to the location you want to get to. And then when you when you go back to a level later on, it'll reset the level scene, and the, the the game will think it's your first time entering that level, even though you have already been there before, which causes the duplication. So you do get a few other tokens on the side, but you mostly grab the tokens in Nether Men. It's something that I don't understand super well, but that's basically what it is: running out of storage, abusing the menu, duplicating tokens that way. The world record is 29 minutes. And I don't think it'll ever get to 28 minutes, honestly. I feel like it's pretty solid, pretty concrete. Oh, yeah, yeah, my bad. I'm in 19. I'm in 19. <laughs> Welcome. Roblox doors, but bad. How come there's, like, a bunch of Roblox games that are really popular on speedrun.com? They almost feel like memes, but, like, but with how much they ran, I don't know, can they be memes? They ran that much? There might just be some weird craze that we don't understand, like, fucking Subway Surfers. I don't think that was a meme, I think most people were actually just running that. I hate that children know what speedrunning is now. I, I know we had to expand the community, I know the community was very small back in the day, and it's nice to see it bigger now. You don't understand, man. One time I was in Cardiff, I walked past a group of, like, three little white kids. They were, like, 11 or something, and I heard one of them say speedrun, and I wanted to kill him so fucking bad. I do not know what Roblox doors is. Should I know? It can go down to sub-1930, but after that, I don't know. Yeah. Maybe one day I'll have a crack at it, but I probably won't. <laughs> I don't know how good your Neptune Gold is, but it's probably close to mine. Yeah, so it probably, yeah, you probably can't really do much after 2x. Maybe you could get one, I don't know. Either way, I, I don't, I mean, 18 is obviously not happening without new developments, but like, what could you possibly do at that point? I would recommend that, Maya Bell. Um, watch Sky's world record of it, because that one's, like, the optimized one. You will find, though, that partway in, it is doing the same thing over and over again, but until all of that happens, it's quite interesting. 
and it is hard. The menuing is hard. Because if you fuck it up, the, the category is unforgiving. Because if you fuck up the menuing, like, at all, then you can't get world record anymore. Like, the run's dead. And the menu is uh, not sensitive, but it's... There are a couple spots where you, have to, where you have to scroll down pretty fast. But the game doesn't take inputs if you do it too quickly, so you gotta do it fast, but not like too fast. Cars speedrun. Not even a good Cars game. I can think of a good car game. Have you ever heard of the paddy wagon? I find the paddy wagon sections in movie GBA really funny because they're just auto scrollers. They're kind of cool though. They look pretty 3D and like interesting. The only thing, I mean, they are for a run they're kind of lame, but you have a you have like a small window of time, like half a second or something, to exit the level before it says like you did it or whatever. So there is like a strat at least at the end. And it does let you go AFK if you're nervous, but considering there's like three or four of them, you, did, you know, and the run's short, it just seems kind of redundant. There's probably like an all levels category though, it's probably much more, much less cringe in that category. I've, I only have Cars on PS2, I don't know if it's Cars or Cars 2. Let me check, Cars PS2. Yeah, it's it's cause it's cause one. I have the game. Um, I haven't played it since I was a kid, but I don't know if it's good. Welcome. But apparently, that game the game has I think it's cause one. It has some fucking stupid exploit. You know, like Mario Kart Wii Ultra shortcuts, where you go to the last checkpoint and then you go to the finish line and it counts. Imagine that, except you don't have to do a glitch and it's just free as fuck. You literally just go backwards to the last checkpoint and it just works. Yeah, that- you can do that in one of the Cars games, I don't know which- it might be that one. So fucking stupid. How does that happen? How, how do you- how do you make a racing game- Dude, movie- movie sandwich levels are built way better than that, and it's just like a small part of the game. How do you manage that? Manager coming through. The Lego games. I've never played a Lego game, but they all seem really cool. The thing is, the Lego games are usually based off stuff I never watch. Lord of the Rings, never watched it. Harry Potter, never watched it. Star Wars, never watched it. Indiana Jones, never watched it. Batman, never watched or played a Batman game. Nah, it's not connected enough. Oh, I would fucking love a Family Guy Lego game. That'd be funny as fuck. It'd be so. It it would it would make such little sense that I think it would it would loop around and actually make so much sense in the end. Holy crap, Lois! This is even better than the time we were Legos. Eh. Yeah, it'd be like that. No, Peter, your cutaway gags are, are becoming real. Oh no, Peter. Oh wow, Lois, this is even worse than the time uh, we faced an evil boss. Dude. It, it, okay, if, if they were actually a Family Guy Lego game and the concept was that Peter's cutaway gags were becoming real, he would definitely say, this is like the time we fought a really hard evil boss. He would absolutely say that. And then Lois would be like, Peter, you fucking idiot, Peter. Dude, I need a shirt. This is the last round. I need a fucking shirt. I've gone over the six hour mark. I need my. F I tried to shit before the stream. Nothing came out. It's not my fault. Sly Cooper. I never played Sly Cooper either. Although I watched a review on, uh, you know, the one that people don't like. Yeah, that one. I watched a review on it. Dude, I need a fucking shit. I've only really needed it in the past few minutes, but like, it's, it's building up quickly is the issue. Okay. 
I'm gonna go offline now. I don't know if I'm going live tomorrow, but if I do, it might be a sub goal, might not be, I don't know. Thank you for watching. Don't know if I'll be live tomorrow. Goodbye. Thank you. Oh, shit. Not. Okay, now goodbye.